Okay. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming to the stream. Oh, geez, I didn't expect to turn the camera on. Well, we'll just do dark because I'm not going to do face cam. Hey, hi, hello. Hey, what's up? Uh, we're going to do Near Automata tonight. Uh, it's been on my radar for a really long time. And, um, and it's, it's really, the first Nier is one of my, one of my favorite games, um, of all, of all time. I, it was certainly like really formative is not a great word, but it, it really left an impression on me that not many games do or can, um, the, the original was was one of my first like instances of feeling like yeah this is this is a next generation game when it came out on the PS3 and 360 just the idea of like oh we're it is going to be this game but it is also going to swap between all these different all these different genres and and, and still have this really soulful and touching um, a, a, a message and, and motivation. And it's um, so I'm 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 glad that I'm like now able to spend a little time with the PC version, uh, or rather the new game, because I I've got I've got this mod that uh, supposedly fixes some of this like janky stuff with the PC version, but uh, if you haven't played the first Nier, I don't expect that you will be very lost. I went and read the Wikipedia just on, on it a minute ago and was like, oh, that was the, that happened? <laughs> I, I, I didn't 100%, but but the, the basic conceit of the first game was that um, humanity sort of died out from, a, from the sickness where um, it, 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 was, it was like this uncurable sickness and so the sol and so then you like start this fight and then you immediately jump like a thousand years in the future and uh, spoiler alert for the first near which is you know that that game's what five not ten years old but it's 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 up there um the humanity's solution to that was to uh if i if i remember this right and if I read that Wikipedia right, uh, basically separate people's souls from their bodies, and that created these two different things: the Gestalt, which I believe was the soul, and were sort of the shadowy monsters, and then the Replicants, which were the bodies. I, I, I think that's right. This is welcome to I think that's right gaming. No. Um, and 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 you were playing as his father and your 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 daughter or young guy and so he thinks she's your sister in the other one, um, is 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 trying to cure it and um, the the original near which which uh, the new the new one that we're about to play mimics a lot has multiple playthroughs. I think you can get up to four different endings in the game. Um, and and so the the events of this game will take place after after that first one, um, but to the extent of which is to I totally don't know. It's kind of crazy how much like the spoilery elements of this game, um, especially in like games press, has been really limited to the actual systems of the game. So you you if you listen to people talk about the game in explicitly non spoilery ways, the things that you find out are. There are multiple endings. The endings really recontextualize a lot of stuff, and I love that. I love all of that, uh, but like not really a lot of spoilery stuff. And I think that's fantastic, and I and I hope that's more a function of like the games press just like not the uh, not giving up whatever ghost is in here, um, and and less a function of like this game might not be super popular. Um, so you're gonna see me in chat. I'm Brad Kaz on the chat. If you feel like you need to mention me for any reason, but uh, let's uh, let's get in the game, huh? We 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 talked a lot about a lot about the old game, so let's get into it. I just installed this. 
I just installed the mod, so hopefully, hopefully, this goes well. I've hit, I did hit play on Steam. I did, I did hit play. It is running. We've got running. All right. Oh, ooh, here we go. Oh, here we go. I've got alt to enter. Okay. How do I get the f f control shift? Oh, good. All right, here we go. So we got a boot. Oh, no. Not quite. Oh, there we go. Nice. Near automata. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to be playing on a 360 controller. So let's let's hope that shit works. Oh, it does. Great. We'll go to settings first. We just want to make sure. We'll do English. The the little bit in the demo that I played, the English was pretty good. So um, we'll just do that. Game. Cannot be changing the game. And oh, it's starting new stuff. Okay. Camera. Screen. Uh, let's do 1080 though. Screen mode. Full screen. No. Then let's do 1440. Great, great, great. V-Sync, sure. Graphics, custom. Don't need anti, because I would like to have better shadows. And oh, I do want to go. Yeah, we'll do motion more. Yeah, all right, here we go. Great. All right, saving. Uh, by the way, I'm drinking. Uh, <laughs> I've been on an all. I've been on on a on a on a carbs diet today. I see carbs and then I drop dead. Um, <laughs> so I woke up and went to the movies because I had a free movie ticket and a free popcorn ticket. So the only thing I've eaten today is most of a bowl of popcorn at the draft house and a and a cup of soda. But I'm supplanting that with um, a very small bowl of rice in front of me and. A uh, Woodbridge Moscato. All right, here we go. New game. This game does not support autosave. Play the game to find out how to save. Well, well then, we'll do new data. Create new data. Yes. Uh, name entry. Uh, use a name. Okay, we'll do Nishcom. Start the game. Start the game with the name Nishcom. Yes, we will. Uh, enemies are weak. We'll just do normal. We'll just do normal. We got this. Uh, game settings. How do we find these? Oh, I'll be fine. Start game. Start up. Everything that lives is designed to end. We are perpetually trapped in a never ending spiral of life and death. Is this a curse? Or some kind of punishment? Oh. Yep. What did I do? Hey. Oh, I think it's... Uh, yeah. I often think about the god who blessed us with this cryptic puzzle. And wonder if we'll ever have the chance to kill him. Wait, is this secretly an R-type game? What this if is this was just an R type? Your hot squadron, come in. To be here, all units have penetrated the stratosphere. Autopilot systems green across the board. This is Operator 60. All units confirmed. We've passed the 50 kilometer threshold and are proceeding toward the target. Understood. Once you reach their anti air defenses, proceed to manual attack formation. Then destroy the Goliath class unit by any means necessary and gather what data you can. Understood. Whoa! Hey, don't do that. 12H down. All units activate manual mode and rely on visuals to evade. Already engaged. Free movement unlocked. Origin point of long range lasers confirmed. Oh shit. Move, nerd! Wow. 11B down. Our HO229 cancelers are ineffective. Alert. Enemy unit sighted ahead. Requesting permission to engage. Permission granted. Seven E 
down. Move, like there's a whole thing. Oh, it, it, it targeted. Aiming captain's duty. Oh, oh. Train pain. Oh, wow. Oh. oh it's got hit. Multiple surrounding enemy air units confirmed. Requesting permission to assume mobile configuration. Permission granted. Oh, now we're Gundams. We're through our types, now we're Gundams. Like, it keeps changing perspective, but the controls are actually really good. Attack gear. Alert. Large enemy group detected. Yes, I'm aware of that. Basically, the intro. Or I'm sorry. The intro is basically that demo from uh, uh, from a little while ago. Which is good. It makes me feel like a I have a good sense of, of what is coming up. Uh, oh, Jesus! Can we not? Can we not do that? Ah, yeah, there is. Whoa. 
Oh, this hitching. Enemies destroyed. Not quite. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'm playing on a 360 controller right now. But I have read that. that. Target? Uh, Negative. That this you can't is unrelated. Proposal. Dispatch it as swiftly as possible. You don't say. Whoa, gotta eat. Oh, sh shit. Don't do that. Better make sure he's actually dead next time. That was dangerous, man. Are you talking back to me? You're 2B, right? My name's 9S. I'm here to provide support. Copy that. So, was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came here to take out? No, just another defensive system. Oh, well, uh... I guess we have to find the target then, huh? I've got a flight unit, so I'll take a look around the perimeter. All right. I'll work my way inside from the ground. All right. Well, um, now let's go to the system. I think I've got like items and stuff, right? I've got items. I got weapons. And skills. Plug-in chips, set type A, customize. Are these all equipped? I literally have no idea how to... I guess it's all on. Okay, that's... We'll, get, we'll wait for that to teach me how to plug in chips. Uh, that boss was way faster than in the uh, in the old demo.
more walls. Oh. Gotta get those rusted clumps. Oh, I don't want to do that. To be, uh, ma'am. What is it? I was going to send you the map data I collected earlier. Do it. Ever easy. What the fuck are you locking on to? you're here. Why? Scanners like me mostly work alone. Scouting out enemy lines and all that. I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. Emotions are prohibited. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. And another thing. Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? It's unnecessary. All right, then. To be it is.
Analysis. This elevator's controls are locked and cannot be used. This place sure is big. I guess humans used to use it as a weapons factory. But now it's just crawling with machines. The enemy seems to have repurposed the facility to increase their overall machine production. So if we don't destroy it, they'll just keep coming. So we don't know who the enemy is. Other than these, like, drone sort of things. I'm starting to get I'm starting to get back into like the hang of So Waffle asks how how on rails this is. Like uh, this is what? That's it's just question. accessing random nonsensical data from the old world. There's no actual meaning behind anything machines do. Um, so it's like there is uh, I'm sure as as like a um, but this is the beginning. This is the very beginning. Just a little bit, just a little bit, there we go. So yeah, some of this top down stuff is um not is, is not great. Hopefully that should be a little better. Also I was like a little away from the it gets cool. Um, it has a certain range on it. I completely missed the um, the SGDQ run for this. I mean, I'm, I'm 
super glad I did. I probably, knowing, knowing the little I know about this game. Analysis. This elevator's controls are locked and cannot be used. Where's my camera reset? Nope, that's definitely not it. I know. Cool, so I can I can sort of like dodge even if I'm in the middle of an attack, which is a pretty cool way of handling this. Oh, fuck! We're out of small recoveries, and this shit's not gonna work. I surveyed the entire factory, but couldn't find anything resembling our target. Maybe they, I don't know, moved it somewhere? Where's our target? iPhone 9S, where's my target? Someone get that iPhone 9S to find me my target. Is that? You mean the birds? Yeah, there's more plants and animals here than there used to be. Probably because the environment's changed. Hmm. Environment, all right. The Earth? I don't, I, I like, uh, you, yes, the people want to sexualize this character. Alright, All right, you guys ready for some shit? Where's our enemy? Where's our enemy, uh, enemy at? Oh, where's the big enemy? No, I'm, I'm 2B. Where's my, where's my big enemy? Where is that enemy guy at? You all, you all son of an enemy. I'm looking for you, Goliath, big enemy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find you, and I'm gonna hunt you down. There should be another facility across that bridge. It's a bit of a hike, but should we check it out? It's not like Command to get a location wrong. I guess even they get bad intel from time to time, huh? Oops, sorry. Can, can you guys cool it with the self-destruct stuff? I literally know nothing about this game, hmm. but that part I wouldn't bet on that. is something I don't know much about. Alert. High power jamming detected. 
No response from long-range communications. Doesn't matter. I'll just take him out. Oh, god damn. I evaded. The Yorha Force was annihilated and Earth went on to become a paradise for machines. Well, hey, hold on. Hey. No. God. God damn it. Ending's W. Great. Awesome. I got the the bad ending. I swear to God. God damn it. And yeah, I had the laser too. Everything that lives is designed ah! to end. We are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. Mm, hear that? Is this a curse? Or some kind of punishment? I often think about the god who blessed us with this cryptic puzzle. Well, hey, I'm gonna say, if and you need if to, we'll ever have the chance go to, to the kill bathroom. him. Man, fuck, that was like 20, 25 minutes. God damn it. This is command. Your house squadron, come in. If I could do, do this here, whole... all units have penetrated the stratosphere. Uh, Autopilot uh, system screen uh, across uh, the board. Oh, I'm this not is happy. All units confirmed. We've passed the 50 kilometer threshold and are proceeding toward the target. Understood. Once you reach their anti air defenses, proceed to manual attack formation. Then destroy the Goliath class unit by any means necessary and gather what data you can. Understood. <laughs> 12 H down. All units activate manual mode and yeah. rely on visuals to evade. It's already over. engaged. Free movement unlocked. Hey, is there a fucking Origin skip to shit? Long lasers <laughs> no, 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 no. 11B, down. No, Our HO229 cancelers are ineffective. Alert. Enemy unit sighted. <laughs> Requesting permission to engage. Permission granted. Nothing? Drinking time. We're just gonna have a little bit of the, the drinky time. This is good, Moscato. This is better than, than that shitty one I got last time. Multiple surrounding enemy air units confirmed. Requesting permission to assume mobile configuration. Permission granted. We, we need we need some fucking sick speed run straps right now. God damn! I cannot believe. Ugh, this there are there is so much about this game that's really cool. Captain, I think. And this dodge shit is like For me, the way it's handling multiple enemies and hits and stuff is not great. 
2B to Operator 6-0. All Allied units down. The operation is compromised. Awaiting further orders. Uh, operator to 2B. We need you to rendezvous with Unit 9S and begin gathering so, data so on these the are like... terrain. Understood. I mean, I can only assume that these are, are uh, you know, automatons on some level, right? Androids or some sort of machines. Um, and yet, they have laws and or rules such that they have and can have emotions, but they also have to limit their emotions. This is um, interesting. Yeah, what are we gonna do that? Alert! Large enemy group detected. Yes, I'm aware of that. Yeah, I, I knew that too, actually. <laughs> you can't fucking. You don't get to juggle me! This isn't Tekken! Fuck! I've been playing. I've been playing a lot of Crash Bandicoot lately, so I my my hands are maybe not used to to controls that have more than two buttons. And also, this little rope. This little uh, get up. This little robot thing, you would think is a machine, right? So, like, what's the deal? With, what's the deal? What's the deal? Tell me, what's the deal with that? No. Oh, that was super close.
better no, make skipping. sure he's We're actually. Go away, Twinkus. You're 2B, right? My name's. Copy that. So. No. Oh, I've got. All right. Alright guys, speedrun strats real quick. We're just gonna definitely just do the fuck out of this moment. Cause... Better the game, guys. Sorry. Oh, between the machines and androids, I see. No one has any right to tell me get good right now. I, I am almost all the way through that Crash 1 remake, and that game is fucking hard. That game is hard. Y'all, we did not have it quite so easy in 1990 and 7. Uh, ma'am? What is it? I was going to send you the map data I collected earlier. Do it. a gun and shoot him? Is that what that last move was? <laughs> One more minute. We almost got it. Accent confirmed closed. So open. Damn it. Negative. Nearby enemies are chanting our signal. Nothing's ever easy. <laughs> oh, you are going to die. No, it's not. Come on, camera, help me out. Show me when I get in.
know, ma'am, I'm glad you're here. Why? Scanners like me mostly work alone. Scouting out enemy lines and all that, I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. Emotions are prohibited. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. And another thing, stop calling me ma'am. Huh? It's unnecessary. All right, Someone then. needs to tell 2B, 2B anger, is. Is a, anger is an emotion, and being passive-aggressive is not acceptable. back and forth of these like side scrolling moments is that the Z plane this is, place sure is big. mostly good. I guess humans used to use it as a weapons factory, but now it's just crawling with machines. The machines. enemy seems to have repurposed the facility to increase their overall machine production. So if we don't destroy it, they'll just keep coming. I'm on e e normal. This should be. hard to tell what she's actually doing and where she is. It's just accessing random, nonsensical data from the old world. There's no actual meaning behind anything machines do. There's no actual meaning behind anything. I'm setting you up for something. Thank you for another day of hard work. Good one. That was a really, really good use of that. Oh no. Oh no, I was not ready for it. Alright guys, we're gonna do my 80% near automata run. Um, I'm, I'm gonna use no saves coming, and I'm gonna go normal mode, and I'm gonna use the one prod, and here we go. That was it. That was my one prod. You guys like this? It's the only one we actually need. Yeah. Right, I, watch. I watched that eight-hour Final Fantasy run over the course of like three days, um, and so very much. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Analysis. 
purposes. This elevator's controls are locked and cannot be used. Don't forget to not die. Damage than this, please. Fuck your in. Heavy, heavy. Ugh. Cool. Good use. Good beam. Good beam. I don't like that it doesn't, um, that, that it doesn't, uh, auto-target you to, like, the next enemy when there are enemies definitely still being ranked. That's, maybe that, maybe, maybe that's better in the long run, but, what the fuck, Lord of suck right now. the entire factory, but couldn't find anything resembling our target. Maybe they... I don't know, moved it somewhere? Man, we didn't... We barely got... We didn't even get to, like, the whole turn of this Is chapter. That... You mean the birds? Yeah, there's more plants and animals here than there used to be. Probably because the environment's changed. Like, there's a whole thing with this, about, like, finding the Goliath... the Goliath thing and all... We didn't even fucking get to it last time, and I still can't even save! Kotaro, what are you doing? Please! What did I do to you? Alright, so we remember what happened a half hour ago? There should be another facility across that bridge. I had a it's lot a less a wine. Hike, but should we check it out? It's not like command to get a location wrong. I guess even they get bad intel from time to time, huh? Shut up, Torkus. Hmm. I wouldn't bet on that. Hold to skip. Alert. High power jamming detected. No response from long range communications. Doesn't matter. I'll just take him out. Any of that hit. Take that!
is that? Probably because the strip mining machine stopped Target strip mining and turned detected. into murderous rampaging robots that killed all the people doing the polluting. Well, this is, remember, this is a weapons. Well, I guess there could be strip mining part of it. But I remember, this was a weapons factory. You made weapons. <gasps> Metal Gear. Of damage. Oh, I like this little underscore version of the song. Oh, I hey, this is not super helpful. I like that there are fires and explosions that aren't necessarily tied to anything that you can see externally. Nine S. iPhone Nine S. Nine S. Nine S black box signal detected. No response to communications. I'm going after him. That way, apparently. Very quiet. Send a support request to command. Negative. Communications have been jammed. This kind of reminds me of the uh, of the music treatment for those dot hat games. Uh, 
dot hack. Are we all 90s kids? Do we all remember dot hack? Because dot hack definitely also had sort of the Gaelic the orchestral sort of thing going on. Oh yeah, Gits. It kind of reminds me of Gits. I should watch Not Hat Sign Nine again. S. Oh, welcome, Dan is in Japan. And those haste guys are great. I know that they're on Twitch. More people can know about them. Nice, 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 nice. nice. to help 9S. My phone. I don't have insurance on you. I have to repair him. Hod, get Is me staunching really gel and logic virus hack? vaccines. Then access the... Inadvisable. The subject's vital signs are too poor to oh, attempt field is... repair. Shut inherent. up! Just do what I say! Hey, emotions are denied. To be... Just go. Me, you shut up, too. Everyone shut up! We... We're soldiers. We, we take are pride soldiers. in our service. So we'll set the world. HO two two nine flight unit, command six seven seven received. Usage rights transferred from nine S to two B. Requesting acknowledgement. Please. What fly is ass out of here? All right. Dot mm. hack G U last recode. Oh my god. Those first dot hack games on the PS2 that like simulated an MMO were that's a cool idea. My my cousin had a bunch of those. Scrub, fight me! It talks? I didn't know the machines had that kind of intelligence. Uh, yeah, Dan, we're only we're about 30 minutes into the game. Because uh, I definitely I died. Long ago, to so provide support. This is actually still the part of the game that was the demo before it launched. So. Oh. Oh. The control of the enemy's upper arm. Use your pod. Should be able to take it over. I told you to shut up! I think he's helping you. So we are androids, and I think we're fighting the machines. And humanity is probably wiped out. But we're in like kind of this weird post-apocalyptic thing where there are definitely ruins of the modern world. We're not there. Oh, they're like Vulcans. Oh, that's a good that's a good observation, BK. <laughs> oh. 
When Talk he was about armed, too. bringing the battle to them. <laughs> Ought to be. Contact command. Request assistance. No. It doesn't look like that's going to be necessary. Oh no! Two more! Three more! Oh great. That's right. Uh, it's all pork. I don't imagine that <coughs> this is going to end well. We weren't just fighting the a factor. Box. We were fighting the factor it's that makes ready. Metal Gears. But the factor was also the Metal, right. Gear. the Metal Gears. Oh, I guess. Requesting destruction of enemy hostiles via black box reaction. Request accepted. It was an honor to fight with you. Truly. The honor was mine. Oh, shit! Hmm. Well, that's no good. Resuscitated body, staring a space from the bunker. That's weird. I've. Okay. Also, that was like the uh, the fucking PlayStation trophy sound. I think. Wait, but that's that's two B. Hey, two B, what are you what are you doing there? All right, so that's a stare into space from the bunker. Saving possible. Saving fucking possible. Like God, you goddamn right. <laughs> Is it in system or save? Oh, here we go. Save, save. To be, it's got my name on it. Let me. Uh, fine. We've got um, a trash compactor. Here's a thing I cannot get into. Uh. So, mission complete and all that, huh? The Goliaths were wiped out, and we secured a route into enemy territory. What? Now we can... 9S. Yeah? Thank you for uploading my data to the bunker. Oh. Uh, oh. Um, I did that? Sorry, I don't remember. There wasn't a whole lot of bandwidth down there, you know? I probably only had enough time to back up your memories. Oh. Mine are only intact up to the point just before we rendezvoused. I see. So Glory to mankind. Damn, he's got those bears. Glory hands. to mankind. Those fucking yaoi fingers. So. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So they're. Consciousness, take two. Their consciousnesses, who kind of ghost in the Shelley can can live in electronic bodies. How much of their consciousness continues, though? Fifty twelve A.D. Oh, okay. The year mankind's glorious history came to a sudden and abrupt end. I'm glad that we're in the film when strip. The world was invaded by aliens from beyond the stars. Was... The aliens unleashed a new breed of weapon, machine life forms that all but annihilated human civilization. The handful of survivors that remained fled from Earth, seeking refuge on the moon. 5204 AD. Humanity launched its counterattack. Deploying an army of androids from a network of orbiting bases. But after more than a dozen large-scale descents upon the enemy, 
We still haven't managed to repel the invaders. That is why you, the Yorha forces, exist. Yeah. To break this stalemate, once and for all. You are our ultimate weapon, and you must put an end to this war. Understood, sir. I wish you good hunting. Glory to mankind! Glory to mankind! Glory to mankind. Okay, we are like 30 minutes into this game, and I have no fucking idea what's going on. Yo, I'm so glad I don't know anything. This is all... Alright, TB, can you hear me? I'm starting your boot secrets first. You want to check your brightness settings. Oh my god! <laughs> is... Oh my god! We're going to have to get you... Let's start by set the bright... setting the brightness set. Uh, we'll go... Only the right icon? I like seeing a little bit of the left icon though. Okay, how does this look? It's fine. It's okay. Roger that. Oh, I should probably let you know the entire process is being recorded. Now let's take a look at voice recognition settings. Seems as as your voice recognition is set to mute, which isn't going to work. I'm going to call it to you now. Make sure you can hear my voice. Ma'am? Are you there? Can you hear me? Oh my god, I'm fucking uh, dying. Hello? All right. Are we good now? Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm fine, I guess there's something calming about your voice. No, we're just gonna say Okay. It. Settings should all be good to go. I'm not gonna encourage him to have emotion. Hold on. Your self-destruct permissions are missing. Wait a sec. We need to restore those. Huh? I could set it huh? for you, but you should probably do it yourself. Regulations and all, you know? Huh? Wait, no. You need to leave that turned on. Okay, okay. good. If things go wrong during an op, you may have to sacrifice yourself in order to finish it. Huh? So, once you're finished making adjustments, you can go ahead and close this out. That, okay. That, okay. <laughs> this is a very cute way of doing this. Also, this black and Morning. white has not escaped my, my grasp. Oh, maybe this is what this is what they can see because obviously there's no visual so maybe this is all like cameras or these drone things 9s the commanders put me in charge of your maintenance ma'am that means I'll be performing regular checks on you from now on I see oh don't worry we 9s models are the best around you know Though I suppose we're not exactly known for our modesty. Huh? Are you gonna show me your dick, Nine dude? 9S. Hmm? What is it, ma'am? Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? Huh? There's no need to be so formal. Uh, all right. If you say so. Oh, I almost forgot. The commander was calling for you. We better go see what's up, ma'am. Er, to be. No. Yeah, what's that? Choose a combat style. Oh shit. Uh you can be close range. Item shop. Oh fuck. Melee attack up. Oh, that's temporary. HUD HP gauge display the don't I have I have one of those. Sound waves. Display a sound analysis graph. That just sounds cool, though. Is the th oh, you can turn. Oh, wow. Save points, damage values, object. Oh, wow. Okay. Fishing spots, auto attack, auto fire, uh, easy mode. Well, I should get one. Uh, I'm gonna get fishing spots. Yeah. And then I'll get a couple of um, I'll get a, I'll get a couple of these, and then a couple of these. All right, hey, look at that! 
Also, yeah, fishing. Oh, right, because that's a thing. Yes, the fishing is in this space fishing in this game. Alright, so the commander's call. We'll go the other direction. Who's this? Operator. I never get tired of looking at Earth. The hangar? You can get to it from the elevator right to my left. Well, I don't need to go there. Oh, the gravity's different. Get nerd. She's talking about, she's exercising, and she's upset her friend didn't notice her waistline is better. <laughs> but she only exercised once every couple of days. Okay, I think that conversation finished. Hello! I was just talking about all the plants and animals I saw on Earth. Operators are kind of nuts for data collection, you know? It makes me jealous of the combat troops. I'd love to go down there and collect the data myself, but they just don't allow it. Hey, I'd take you if I could, but you know, I don't make the rules. Well, okay. That was not as good as the thing we were listening to. Yo, if a game has good fishing, that's a good thing. Terminal? Is that where I need to go? No. No, that's not where I need to go. God damn it. This is a cool transition time. Final Fantasy XIV has interesting fishing in that, um, like, it's got, I mean, it's got, like, all these systems to, like, enable you to find specific fish that you're looking for, but, uh, I, I really dig the fishing in Final Fantasy XIV. We're just gonna steal all your shit, and that's what's, what it's gonna be. Hey, yeah. Have you been using your recovery items? Everyone on the R&D team is really proud of them. You can even buy them from the terminals in the quarters. Give them a try. Can I, can I see your shit? You need to be near an access point to save your data. You can see access points on the close range map. Be sure to save often. Yeah. Quick save. Uh, you cannot travel outside of the mission area. No messages have been received. All right, well. Oh, we're going in your room, iPhone. Do you want to take a break? No. Well, here we go. Hello there. You're starting to get quite the reputation. Oh, but don't worry. It's all good. The way you used your black boxes to blow the Goliath was so awesome. Er, but try not to actually die, okay? We'll take good care of your data, so make sure to upload it frequently. Oh, fuck. This is ominous. It's ominous is what it is. Everything's proceeding smoothly. There's no sign of anyone's, anyone's notice any. What's your problem? Get out of my face before I rearrange yours. You fucking it ass. We got medium recovery. Jeez. Some people. Oh, no. More people to talk to, though. Hi there. Boy, you two are thick as thieves, aren't you? I know you're only working together by coincidence, but it's so nice that you've become friends. Are you checking your mail regularly? Sometimes there weren't messages around for weeks. So don't be that person to check your mail regularly. Want a piece of advice? Uh, back up your data whenever you can. If you don't do that, no matter what, 
no, it doesn't matter. You lose your body if you just open. Oh, sorry. Uh, how many times have I assisted you? Please keep it brief. Oh, all right. Your bodies are automatically register information from slain enemies in the database. It is a practical design to allow combat units to collect intelligence. All right, let's just do the thing. There are more people, but I got it. Get on the fucking elevator, 9S. The operator's tried to explain everything, but I'm still so confused. I hope, I just hope I don't get in everyone's way. Uh, the unit, this unit was only manufactured recently, so she's still quite nervous. That concludes your mission summary. As for the detailed breakdown, the first thing to remember is that your hustle legit. Man, these operators are so fussy. Wish they'd let, just get me the data I need and let me do my thing. All right, so we got a little bit of a little bit of a conflict between the between the operators and the soldiers, just a little bit. Ah, two B. Maintenance finished? Yes, Commander. You detonated your black box in order to defeat the enemy. Bold, but risky. Try not to be so reckless next time. Understood. I know you're fresh out of maintenance, but I have another mission for you. I need you to head to the surface, rendezvous with the Resistance, and do some recon. Doesn't Yorha have a dedicated Resistance contact already? We haven't been able to get in touch with them, so we'll need you to look into that as well. Understood. Why are you still here? Bitch. Alright, who else is left? Only the commander can improve communications with the Council of Humanity. Your soldiers aren't allowed to make it. So, wait, the Council of Humanity. So, there are still humans left? For the most part, I'm the operator in charge of communicating with the Council. They don't contact as much. So, most of my job is just keeping them up to date on the latest Earth happenings. They must really trust us, huh? I guess so. Hold on. Oh, what's this? Oh, shit. Range defense up. L. Obtained. You were fantastic in the battle the other day. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do next. Uh, hello, how goes the mission? If you need additional mission intel, you can find it in your HUD. Certain plugin. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, right, I can turn my plugin on. Uh, items. No. Skills. Plugins. Set so type A. Alright, here we go. Alright, there we go. We got an next. Nope. I guess not. Automatic. It's automatic. So I should get fishing spots to show up. So the black and white, it's like, it's very grainy. The hey. surface? That means we'll be getting flight units, huh? Better head for the hangar. <laughs> Usually we can't get near flight units. They're way too expensive for oh us God, grunts. Man. Too bad they can't mass produce these things yet. Inbox. Yes, yes, yes. Inbox. Test mail. This message is intended for verification of your mail account members' account problems in the mail. Okay, great. God, I I really dig automatic. Have you heard? Um, uh, they they the put out this ahead. like uh, let's go that like cover album of Utada Hikaru songs for her like 13 year anniversary or whatever. Um, and the guy who did the, some of the music for Space Dandy did the cover for Automatic, and it's really great. What I get? Small recovery. I just don't feel, I don't feel so good. Her balance sensors got damaged, so she got some motion sickness. Now, every time I repair the sensors, the problem comes back. It's almost like it's in her head or something. You guys take care of yourselves. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey there, are you going down to Earth again? I'd give almost anything this I'd give almost anything to spend more time in a flight unit. We'd all like that, but they're expensive, delicate pieces of equipment, so they don't just hand them out willy nilly. And you combat types are the worst. Last time you used a flight unit, it came back with huge scratches on the side. Who do you think fixes that? We do. We work our fingers to the bone to get you a beautiful ride and you go and crap all over it. Alright, alright, I got it, sheesh. You gambling man. Wow, so this is the future's version of VTOL. Hey, 2B, why do you think they sent a combat model like you to a recon job? If all they want is intel, we scanner models are built for that kind of thing. Orders are orders. All right, all right. Oh shit, we're playing this game. 
popular machines everywhere. Is the frame You're going to have some new You're weaponry so installed from here on out. I'll put up instructions oh, for you. Sh Make sure to commit them to memory. Gotcha. Man, that missile was pretty cool. Okay, we're back in color. So I wonder if the color is like some sort of satellite thing? Like it's tied to our vision? Like I think it's tied to the blindfold somehow. It's gotta be. Okay. I haven't seen any video of Natalie Carl live. I really want to, though. Um, she seems like she would be great. Especially one of those older videos of her, like, doing the classics, right? I, I haven't been able to get to, like, her emotions and stuff, but class. I mean, everyone loves the fun. Automatic, secret, time limit. Bunker to 2B, come in. I've set a landing point for your flight units. You'll be touching down quite a ways from the resistance camp, unfortunately. Sorry for the trouble, but we can't risk the enemy discovering their position. Understood. Good luck down there. All right, so now we're getting into the Tokyo jungle. A plain post-apocalypse world. It's not going to be a jungle. That's, that's a Ooh. Who got the red? Who's got the red bot? You got a red bot? Yeah, what's up? Oh, um, you, you'll be close range, whatever. Alright, so, are these pretty? Oh, man, there's. You can already tell there's going to be a lot to explore. Uh, items! <laughs> Oh yeah, gonna grow some moon weed. Look at it, Ellie. I guess we really are the last of us. Uh, city ruins. All right. Target location acquired. Marking on map. Proposal. Proceed to target location. The minimap shows the geography of your current location at the bottom right of the screen. The blank icon shows your objective, so make sure to follow it if you get lost. Show me? Okay, there we go. You can't be like, hey, we're going to show you your mini-map, uh, and then not give me the mini-map immediately after that. Oh, fuck. Other players' bodies. If you have network features option, if you have the network features option turned on, you'll be able to recover. See other players' dead bodies. By examining these bodies, you can do the following. Retrieve. Temporarily gain three random effects based on the chips the player had equipped. Repair, the body will follow you around and, uh, and aid you in combat one max. Wait, that was only three. I fell out of city, consumed by nature. Yeah, whatever, repair. Attack on Titan looking motherfucker. And battle snacks. A combat loving android saw a machine living for combat at a blood soaked battlefield. Jesse, me, 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 has become your ally. Gain money, HP up, attack up, shockwave. Cool. I wonder if those are temporary. Oh, thanks, Captain. Yeah, I did, uh, I did, like, a cover of, of spending all my time, um, earlier this year? Let's. I don't. I don't entire, I. I guess. I was gonna say I don't entirely know where I'm going, but it had a whole thing of like, hey, just follow your mini map. There are a lot of uh, different pathways in this. I guess we're. Yeah, here we go. We're on the ground level. What are these? Oh, is this fauna? Oh, 
Moose meat obtained. All right. It's no bra. It's no rusted clump, but you know it'll it'll have to do. So there really is like a sort of exploratory element to this. Uh, Nier was set up as like a as a very uh, like kind of open world, like open world for a, like what you would consider like a turn RPG maybe, but it was still very just like you know, traveling between between worlds. Hypothesis. According to our intel, none of the machines in this area are hostile. We've been seeing more and more enemies like this lately. They just stand there and stare into space. It's pretty weird. So this is... Oh, flap information. Okay. Oh, great. A quick save. Inbox. That is my test. Map data obtained from Bunker. Data may be displayed from the system menu. Map data, huh? It's hard to... No, there's a whole map. So... Well, we're not too far. Oh, or unless we have to go this way for some reason. Oh, there's a lot of red dots. Where? No, we're just trying to go here. Okay. Get an accurate picture from this. Our satellite resolution isn't so hot. Hopefully they deploy some new satellites soon. A general idea is good enough. <laughs> you don't let anything get in your way, do you? I still don't know what we use all those materials for, but... This is a strong moose. It can take a lot of bullets. It's also pretty big. It is a, this is a pretty big moose. What exploded? Something exploded. I guess real moose are pretty strong. Alright, well, we'll just make a beeline to our objective. But it very clearly has given us a pretty big map here, so... I don't expect... Well, I don't know. Let's clear these guys out. Oh, fishing spot! Oh, God. We'll fish it. We'll fish it. Fish. I want to fish. I do want to fish. Fishing is no good. We'll get rid of it. But I want to fish. Commencing fishing. Oh, it's the sinker. Killifish machine obtained. I don't know what that is. I don't know what a killifish... Caught fish. Killifish machine, an aquatic machine, can be exchanged for money. Oh my god, they're mechanical fish. Commencing fishing. Holy... Complete. No, 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 no. Okay, that's the A button. Commencing. Boy carp machine. They are all. There are mechanical Conflict. fish. What? 
Oh my god. That is... Wow. So the machines... Does that mean the machines are making fish? That's what I have to believe, right? The machines are making fish. Oh my god, it's humans. Hello, humans. I am an android from space. Tell me about your problems. The resistance camp. So this is the resistance camp, huh? We should probably go talk to their leader first thing. You should talk to their leader first thing. Hello? Are you new here? Very clearly I am. Um, so, who are you? Are you Yokotaro? Are you the Yorha soldiers? If so, you should go meet our leader. I know, I just wanna... What do you think about me? If you're going to inspect the camp, make sure you get permission first, okay? You're a Yorha soldier, right? I'm inspecting you. Have you met our friends, our fearless leader, Anemone, yet? You have, right? Or maybe not? I have not. You're number two. Hmm? Number two. You know about 2B? Um, yes. Well, the bunker told me to expect you. My name is Anemone. I'm the leader of... Hold on. I'm just going to do... I'm just going to do a quick little bit of plot... Uh, trigonometry. Just very, really quickly. Uh, her saying you're number two makes me think that all of these androids are based off of people who died in a significant group early on and people who have sort of been deified, right? That's my guess, right? So whoever 2B is based off is like the second person who died. I don't know. Um, and, and, and that's why the human would call her that. I don't know. Pro prove me wrong, video the game. Android resistance that controls most of this territory. You must be the new scouts we heard about. Well, I'm sure my people will have plenty of information for you. What do you mean? Please feel free to ask them anything you like. I expect you'll be dealing with dealing a lot with the weapons trading and supply traders, so why don't you go say that? Also, there's a girl near the entrance wearing the head of a machine life form. She's a bit of an oddball, but she's really smart, so she's got the Oh guys, the meat it's back. Oh fuck. Turn it on. I'm turning it on. Just a little bit. Back bracer. Resistant member. Okay. All the resistant members in this area are based on this game. So we need to strictly manage everything and everything that comes through here. Anything I need to have. Here we go. Smaller copper. Yes. Shall we rest a bit? Yeah, let's rest on these artisanal benches. It's so relaxing to listen to music, don't you agree? Yep. I could tell you were a connoisseur just by looking at you. Here, have this. This is what people used to call a jukebox, a machine that plays music. You can play any song you like on it, as long as you have the necessary records. It's yours to use. Sound data 1x1. I like calm songs because they're smoothing, but intense songs get you ready to kick some tail. That's right, we like to kick tail up in space. Oh. He deals in weapons if you're interested in that type of thing. What kind of weapons? Basically, I rebuild and repair relics from the old world. Although, to be honest, my tools are in pretty sad shape at the moment. But if I can get some servicing device in that toolbox up and running, I could start fixing and selling weapons again. Take a look at it, will you? That looks busted, alright. You know it! 
And as a, as I bet you can tell, I'm no good at that sort of delicate repair. We're gonna help him out. You mean it? That'd be a huge help. Looks like the servicing device shorted out. I must have put too much load on it. I think mean, four complex gadgets will be enough to fix it. Uh, folks say you can find them over in the city ruins, although I hear that place is crawling with the aggressive uh, oh, Hold on. This turned into an action adventure. This just turned into an, an, an adventure RP, an action RPG. Okay, well. I mean, this is, that's what near is, right? So. The supply trader. Animal bait? Ooh. A sachet. Boss that emits a scent animal's loves prevents them from running when approached. Eh, pass. Do you sell plug-in chips? You mean those little doodads that serve as power-ups? Nope. If I happen to get raw materials, we can do business. But what if you got the materials for me? You got a bum leg. He said C, but I can't really... Yeah, why don't you repair your own leg, nerd? Unfortunately, parts are dedicated to war effort. Can't spare her for myself. You sell stuff. You work for the resistance and you sell stuff to these people. Hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping you can wipe out those machines so I can start dancing again. But until then, I need you to look for what I need. All right. Four Nesh Complex gadget. Yeah, that's it. Thanks a million. So I need one broken spring, one small gear, one broken circuit. If you smash up a few machines to get them, you can obtain them from enemies at the big open area towards the left. Of you. Target location data obtained. Marking on map. What do you sell? Pink hair. Maintenance shop. Hello, you're with your home. This is the maintenance shop. I service and consult on all types of Android bodies. Can I help you with anything? Let's ask for advice. What would you like advice on? None of this. I. Motion sickness? Yikes, well, before you barf everywhere. Try going to. Oh. Alternately, uh. Never mind. I am the boss. Uh, Android bodies. Tell me about it. Android bodies are just that. Bodies that belong to your high androids. There are two ways to enhance them experience points or plug in chips. Everyone knows what experience points are, so I'm not going to waste your time with a long winded explanation. Plug in chips are items that enhance bodies, they have various functions. However, we recognize the Parkinson's can be a tad confusing and we don't want you to rage we don't want you rage quitting oh jesus so I, I can actually recommend a chip setup based on what you're carrying right now sure uh but this is the same thing the fucking thing in the menu does all right yeah whatever you didn't do anything i know you didn't pass so what is your maintenance oh christ this is expensive every pod that's also expensive you cannot fuse chips you can greatly increase your combat ability with a few tricks here and there. If you obtain any new chips, be sure to try them. Okay, Christ. I, I, the one thing I don't like in games almost always is like, oh, okay, um, is, is uh, uh, crafting. There are not many crafting games that I enjoy. I'm just, I'm freaking digging the soundtrack so, so bad. You're with your heart, right? Hmm? My mask? It's an electromagnetic wave shielding device. I swear it I wear it to limit unnecessary information from the world. Ha, just kidding. Uh, what do you want? Are you ready about something or whatever? What should I do if I die? That's a good philosophical question. After a Yorha body is destroyed, only its memory data is transferred to the new body. That means items aren't transferred. So if you die, you need to recover plug-in chips from your previous... What? If you die again before recovering your previous chips, they'll all be lost. So what? You need to... What? 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 Where should I go now? When you're walking... Oh, no. That's... The game is too difficult. You can choose to give difficulty in easy mode. You can auto-attack. Normal mode is standard. Enemies can struck in hard mode. Very hard mode is lock up. Okay. If you go to Intel, it's like, two, no, well, I don't know why I picked this. That, 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 very obvious. It was fun talking to me, apparently, so, you know, 
That's that's a nice change of pace. I don't think we've met. Or have we met? Sorry. My oh, so are these people androids too? Are you all androids? Hold on, are you guys androids? We don't know where the enemy attack from Zerdic watch the Okay. Are you all also androids? Oh, there's an access point. Oh, Jesus. Imagine if you used a computer and every time you used a computer it fucking did that. Like Jesus. Yeah, they are all androids, the same as okay. are just a little over a half bottle of wine left. Access points. The world is filled with cleverly disguised, disguised access points, the red target dot, which can be used for the following. Unlocking map info. Unlocking a save area, the white area on your map, which allows you to save your game in a system menu as long as you're close enough to the access point. If you find an access point under attack by enemies, destroy them all to reactivate the terminal. Oh, Christ. All right, so... What are we doing? Okay, uh, active quests. The supply trader's request and the weapon dealer's request. Okay. Uh, All right, so, so they said uh, out to the left once you leave the base. So we'll see if there's... This must have been quite a city once upon a time. Too bad vegetation's claimed most of it now. Yeah, screw the Earth. Operator 60 to 2B. It is time for your regularly scheduled contact. This is 2B. Nothing to report. Good to hear. Say, how's the weather on Earth today? Good? It's fine. Does that question have anything to do with our operation? Not really. I just figured it might feel nice to have some good weather. Feeling nice has no bearing on completing missions. <laughs> that is so like you, 2B. Anyway, talk to you later. What is these? What is? What is? Huh? Yeah. Okay. We'll start with that. <laughs> Got he. Oh, so it's not gonna like just spawn me with the enemies I need, or maybe well, hold on. small gear. Is that the only thing? Broken key. Wait, why did it say two out of one? Like that's not the right. Oh, I guess I got two broken keys of that. Okay. <laughs> Same as Brad says, "Huh?" Will be a regular question for a few hours at least. Oh Jesus! All right. Well. Okay, so it's this weird thing of like, enemies. Oh wait, is this the other thing I need? No, that's just a crystal. It's not a fi it's not a Square Enix game if there's not inexplicably crystals in it. Uh, well that's a this is a weird way of doing this. You would think like when you play uh for example when you play Final Fantasy fourteen. When you are on a quest to pick up items... Oh, she's got some speed, huh? When you're on a quest to pick up some items, um, what happens is you have to accept the quest, and when you accept the quest, the enemies spawn in a certain area, and then they will have, like, a bespoke item. Like, you won't be able to, like, grind it if you don't have the quest. But then you can complete the quest. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, when, that's everything the supply trader asked for. When you go out there, and then... Man, these chores are a real pain in the butt, huh? The Resistance is a valuable ally to Yorha. By helping them, we also help ourselves. So no, I don't think they're a pain. Yeah, Damn, yeah. got him. Drag him to death. Um, 
so uh, that was that was a weird thing where like the item one of the items i was looking for was already on the ground why the f hey this is fucking stupid that's not a that's that fucking sucks i feel like i should have been able to go through that By the way, if you were uh, uh, one of our first uh, subscribers on Twitch here, I think we are in our our technically second, like the start of our third month, which means we might be able to get a uh, that ruby red diamond. So make sure you keep up with your Twitch Prime get a really cool ruby red icon. Plus you get emotes and stuff. The emotes are a lot of fun. We need to we need to brainstorm new This is emotes. the place that weapons couple. trader was talking about. Uh-oh. I'm picking up hostile machine life forms. Fuck you! That didn't do a lot of damage. Did that even hit? There's a weird thing going on with these enemies in that they have they have that head. You saw the woman in the in the settlement who had that thing on her head. Um, but that's also the head that some of these machines have. And that looks a lot like the head that um, Emil, who was in the original Nier game, or the first Nier game, uh, he wore he wore a mask like that. I don't remember why at this now, um, but he wore a mask like that, and then Yokotaro that should be enough. always wears that mask. Let's now. get these back to the trader. And it's just a weird. It's it's. I oh man, I'm, it's a weird thing. I, I I can't keep saying it's a weird thing because I feel like that's very accurate. Come on, let me go through it. Just. Uh, all right, so there's this, this is I guess it is not it, it should not be unexpected that this is what the game is playing like but you know I'd like come on let me go through there are we serious right now oh, all right well Tarzan king of the jungle it um it is it oh oh that's what that is. okay well um, it's been a while since I played the first Nier. I probably should have, like, maybe just turned it on for a minute. Um, just to get a feel for, like, what this game is. And what it is is, like, an action-adventure RPG. Yeah. Uh, and less... Not, not the hyper-action that that first level was completely. Because it was. It was super action-y. But there's a real element of like a monster hunter. So I think this should be enough to fix your perfect device. Look at that, I'm back in business, good to hear. You know what? You know it. I make these weapons to keep my friends safe after all. Although sometimes I wonder, are they truly my friends? Ugh. What if my weapons are just making my friends die all the faster? Oh shit, dude. Hey girl, I see your pain. Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Anyway, come back in a little while, alright? I should have some new gear for you. Yeah, right. Hey, you found the materials. That's great. Now I can start upgrading crafting items for you. I imagine you have a huge spare of those supplies to fix your leg. Yeah, no. Why don't you tell us what's really going on? See, it's my left leg that's all busted up, and my left leg is the one that's fully original. I've repaired this whole body of mine a hundred times over. I swap parts in and out. So many times I can I can't even keep track. But this leg, this left leg, it's never been touched. So if I go and replace that, what happens? I mean, would I even be me anymore, or would I just? Uh, anyway, it's my own problem. Didn't mean to try to deal with it. I should be getting more inventory soon. So swing by when you can. 
Uh, we got Amber. We got Medium Recovery. Hey, why did I just get that? This is the second one. Jesus, count, please. Please learn to count. All right. Hey, it's you. I almost forgot. I still owe you a reward. I want to say thanks for helping me get things up and running again, so I whipped you some upgrade materials. Rusted clump, beast hide, crystals, 5G, 5KG, and 50 experience points. Hey, Super Sloth. Want to try them out? Fucking sure. Upgrade. Oh, God. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. What else are you doing? We're good. Come to me whenever you need help with your work. Great. All right, girl. We helped you shit out. Tell us what's going on. Oh, hey, I actually have a request for you as well. There have been lots of reports of dangerous machines appearing in the desert recently. This is very unusual, so it may be indicative of something bigger. Now, I hear Yorha types are pretty good at examining things. Oh, so Yorha is... So Yorha is like a faction. It is like a an actual faction. And it's a type of android? I don't quite get that. Thanks, I knew I could count on you. I'll tell our allies in the desert that you're coming. You're named after a fish. Rangers have got right. Oh shit, there's a boss. I can't access this right now. What? Uh, uh, uh. No. Do a quick save. So, like, is the desert in this map? I, yeah, I can't. I don't know if the des. This is not a desert. This is ruins. Eliminate the machines in the desert. Okay, so then. Does that mean I have to go back to the bunker? I have to, let me go see if I can actually go back to the bunker. Uh, yeah, no, this is the sequel to the original Nier from, uh, fuck, I don't know when it came out, but, uh, it's really good. Your is basically a category of Android. Stop telling me stuff, Sandwich Brad! <laughs> uh, Super Loss, I read you were a comedian. I love humor and comedy. Well, I produce comedy shows on this channel I'm I'm uh, not always uh, uh, not always on screen but uh, I the, the guys who do don't play video games so that's that's what I'm doing <laughs> hey I'm talking to you hey, hey hey actually there's something I need to ask you we need your help improving the network environment between the bunker and the surface doing so will allow us to carry operations in a more efficient manner first I need you to transport the required materials to the leader of the resistance camp I'll have an operator explain how to tune your materials. Okay, hey, see, we got some stuff. Uh, let's see, let's look at the map. Classified information. Well, all right then. Yeah, I don't know if the desert is in the city ruins or not. Bunker is in black and white, which is not is not fully explained quite yet. Don't don't quite uh <sighs> so geez, that being... I I it's it's a very internet thing to have something that old come back and become a meme. To B? Is that you? Yes, but Thank goodness, my name is 16D. My instructor, 11B, was one of your squad mates in the assault on the abandoned factory. I don't suppose she was, she was shot down during the battle. I, I see. What a shame. She was the closest thing I had to a mentor. She was so strong and admirable. What happened to her body? What are these rings around us? What are these rings around us? I don't know. I don't know if... I know it isn't my place to be asking you this, but, well... If you happen to run across any of hers, would you bring it back to me? It's not a priority. Yeah, whatever. Thank you. Okay, bye. Pod, do we have any information about 11B's black box? Negative. 11. Negative. 11B's black box has yet to be recovered. 
She was shot down near the abandoned factory, right? All right. Do I? Oh well, I guess I should. I guess I have to transport back to the surface, huh? Yeah, that's that's what I feel like, Dan. Is like because it's also it's a, it's a little bit grainy. There's a little bit of a grain element to this that 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 feels weird. All right, we'll transport back to the resistance camp, I guess. Let me turn this other camp. This other light on. Tactics log, getting ge geographic data, uh, temperature, IFF, FCS, pod connection, DBU, authentication, equipment status, all systems green, combat preparation is complete. Eliminate the machine. Desert. I guess it's that little red icon. Oh, here we go. Operator to 2B. Pod 042 to operator. Coordinates confirmed for location specified by resistance oh, leader. Okay, hold on. We have two things going on. Once. Placing marker on target. The desert heat is going to make resupply efforts difficult, to be. Please make sure you're ready before you go. I already left. Okay, I feel like two different <laughs> two different side two different like side conversations just happened. thing over here, a little thing over here, improving communications, oh, mementos, oh, Jesus, oh, wait, I didn't even look, one more, one more thing, how do I get over there, oh, I guess I need map data, huh, all right, well, let's find some of those ATM machines, thanks, Super Sloth, I got it on Amazon, oh, like a super long time ago, this music's great. It, this has got to be from the same composer who made the music in the in the original here. I feel like, right? I can't oh, Jesus. And I like the use of like it, it sounds like Gaelic or some sort of lost language. I can really dig when a song uses a an unknown language. But I also grew up on J-Pop, so like, that's, that's not why. Oh, this is a factory. This would be me going back into the factory, huh? Oh, what? Is that right? That's... Okay, okay. okay. Let's go back to the factory. I know we already went there twice. Oh, here we go. Lost equipment. There was something I meant, forgot to mention prior to your sortie. According to our analysis team, the equipment that was lost when breaking into the abandoned factory is still there. I have marked its estimated collection, so be sure to pick it up next time you're in the area. That is all. Equipment lost when breaking. Okay. Sure. Let's do. We're. All right. Do is it just me? Is it is it just me? I don't know what we're doing. We're trying to save humanity, but humanity is all androids. And so... What is this? Oh, this is our equipment, I think. You obtained a weapon. Virtuous treaty. Uh, oh shit. 
Good. Were those all of my Operator stuff? Operator 60 to 2 Looks <gasps> like you found all the necessary parts to improve our network environment. Nice work. You can conclude your mission by bringing everything over to an enemy. Was that a, was that my body? That was my body from er, from the prologue of the video game we just played. That's kind of weird. I, I like that. That's okay. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Okay. Can I even go back in? I guess I can, huh? I'm just, I'm, I'm... It, it's, it's... Okay, here's the weird thing. So, like, I played Final Fantasy XV earlier this year, near the start of the year. And I was like, hey, this game is really bad and it's not telling me anything. Um, no, nothing. Okay, well, that's good. Great and good. Uh, do I? No, because if we find a thing, a s I assume if we find one of the ATM machines, we can uh, transport. Uh, but, but. There's a, so, so Final Fantasy XV was a weird thing for me because it doesn't do a very good job of explaining the story or the conflict. And the very first thing that I did when I played that game was get really involved in side quests. And those were fun. Those are... Seriously? Are... Uh, you know, very clearly not part of the, the main story. strength inside an empty sh an empty, an empty shell. Money, HP up, charge, attack, and chocolate. Great. We're really just going back through this whole thing. Shut this machine, this factory down, huh? Didn't really figure out a way to do much of that. But it's also neat that we can come back to this. That's that's pretty cool. Right? We're 
we're gonna find an ATM and we'll transport. Maybe we'll transport. Nope, still cannot use that elevator. I feel like there was a way in the demo to use to make that elevator turn on. Um, not really. Make me regret coming back here, video game. Don't do it. Don't make me regret this. Wait, okay, so this bridge, this bridge is controlled. Uh, the whole point of this quest is to make us go back this in reverse mode, right? So we can really do, really gonna do the do, and we're gonna get rewarded for it, right? Right? And it's gonna be a good time, and no one's going to be upset that this is what we did with our time. Alright, no, we got this. Because remember, all of those all of those MFers blew up over the ocean, so. So it's fine. This is all totally fine, officer. We're all okay here. Could be a memento. Nope, that's just some natural. That's run. a Yorha unit. Where is it? The rubber? This is where you landed. Pod, can you access her black box? Negative. Unit 11B's black box has been irreparably damaged. Hmm. Proposal. Unit 2B should recover any usable weapons. Fragmented data detected in memory region. Wow. I'm gonna I'm 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 steal your scope. I'm gonna steal your loot. Elapsed time, 2.13. Reactivation complete. A check of my body reveals various failures. Communication functions have been destroyed. I cannot contact my team or the bunker. I leave a draft of this message here as a log. Elapsed time, 10.13. I verify the plan once more. 
Using my supposed destruction in the sortier as a guise, I sever all communication. I then pass beneath the abandoned factory and escape. Further analysis reveals that I took anti-air fire while in the air, in the flight unit, resulting in bot damage to my body. No matter, it can be repaired. Elapsed time 1521. I'm cold. My sensory systems seem to be failing. 3320, 3, Noise has started to cloud my vision. Virus warnings appear frequently. It is unclear whether I am infected or the system is in error. 3312. 21. Repairs are proceeding poorly, perhaps because I am flustered. Pursuers will come if I don't move soon. Was I wrong to attempt escape? I am scared. I don't want to go back to the bunker, but I can't. I am scared. I want to go back to the bunker, but I can't restore communication. This can't continue. If I, I can't stay here, I have to run. Your house squadron was wrong. I have to find somewhere safer. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Painful. It hurts. Help. Why stop? Who am I? Wrong, wrong, wrong. I need to run. She was planning to go AWOL. Oh, Violation of regulations detected. However, due to the death of the unit in question, corrective punishment is impossible. Jesus. I'll bring this weapon back to 16D in the bunker. Ugh, that sucks. There's a point, like, really low below ground. Do you see that? Do you see that point there? It's really low below ground, which makes me think we're going to have to some, do some fucking six-speed run strats and get the hell out of here. And I guess these freaking elevators aren't going to work, so... If you need to take a bathroom break, now is going to be a good time to go do that. We are. We got a new glass of wine. What is this? Rusty bolt. More rusty bolts. So I think I've got everything I need for that other quest too, right? Active quests. Yes. And yes. Okay. So that's a weird thing, that that character was planning on run, uh, going AWOL in the middle of a mission, and yet couldn't? And so even though we're in this great Dropbox-sponsored future of the world where, uh, you know, consciousness lives on, uh, her her death is perishable, or she is perishable. Why does this? Thing, uh, I need to. Okay, there's a, like there's like an offshoot that brings that bridge down. I think. I see you, Matt. I wish there was a run. I mean, she can get a pretty good speed. Oh wait, oh this is it. Oh, it's level 10. Fuck! Got it. Got it. Yeah, this is it. Well, I wish I had that. Go, 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 go. It's 
so we're in kind of an awkward situation. Oh, this is a sky-loving android laughed at the enemy's strength in the depths of hell. Oh, um, money vengeance, anti-changing. Um, there's this weird moment that we're in right now for a semi-open world game in having to do a lot of trans tra traversal and just having to make our way back you know a lot of um, a more rigid rpg would solve this by having things like those elevators that we saw something that is very clearly like a return to sender at the start and at the end of any bits and yet what uh, we, we we don't quite have that option and and that's tough because traversal traversal is really important in any sort of game where you have an overworld or hub like element that's really tough and oops that, that's on me and so that that's sort of a weird thing um that I don't know that this has shown me the best judgment of yet. But granted, we did just go to somewhere new and then immediately go back to the original, to the first level. So a little bit of framiness, a little bit of framiness here in this 1440p version. I will do a save. I want a quick save. Damn! Okay, well. It's level nine. All right, so we're we're also like there's a leveling element that wasn't necessarily present in the first game. Oh shit. That's kind of a weird thing too. I know it's a. Uh, I'm, I'm. And then you look at the user interface, and I'm getting like a lot, a lot of Metal Gear Rising elements. You know, a lot of floating UI, a lot of um, um, you know, augmented UI. has claimed most of the central area. Big plants, too. Report. Records show that vegetation has grown to an abnormal size since the departure. Humans. Hmm. Wonder if there are any huge boars and such, too. Now, granted, this is Plat Platinum Games that made this and who made Metal Gear Rising, which I think is a pretty passable action game. Um, but the scope of Metal Gear Rising is pretty limited. That is a very narrative action adventure game. Where, when I think of the original Nier, I think of a, a like a medium length action RPG, action adventure sort of game. I don't know why I did that. He still has that shield, so that means he can't be hurt at all.
Tim. A pretty big access point. A solitary android saw old companions as at a fit place at a place fit to die. We're gonna repair you. You're gonna fight with us. I mean, even this video thing is very has a message for all of our brave androids fighting on the surface. Very rising. Currently, our struggle against the machine life forms is at a stalemate. This battle has raged for far too long. I am sure all of you find the effort grueling. But now is not the time to give up. Now, more than ever, we must forge on. Remember that several hundred thousand humans on the moon want nothing more than to return to Earth. Glory to mankind. Hundreds of... Th we're Those doing this... Council for broadcasts are always so stiff. Hundreds of thousands of humans? Report. Mail notification received from access point. Um, hundreds of thousands of humans is kind of not a lot of humans. Um, if, 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 uh, I am correct, there are, um, a single digit amount of billions of humans right now, and, um, that's a pretty substantial loss of life. And for beings that are, like, can have emotions and do have emotions. Um, that's that's a that must be a very like um, uh, a very strict adherence to the the three laws of robotics. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, our leader told me all about you. Name's Jackass. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I hear you're planning to take out all the machines in the desert. I Guess am. that means we need to get that entrance open. Yeah. Looks like it. So, um, Jack Ass, was it? Uh, what are you doing Jack all the way out here? Ass? Hmm? Oh, that? Well... Wouldn't want to have anyone getting tangled up in that, now would we? Don't go trying to be a hero, all right? The whole point is that we are trying to be heroes, right? Well, no. You know what? I'm, I'm going to take that out because I fucking don't know what's going on. I just know I have to go and kill a lot of Who the machines. Who opens a sealed gate with explosives? There's got to be an easier way, right? She also didn't, like, even have a remote or anything. She It just kind of happened around us. And then, okay, so here are some more things, right? So there are, the, the the people like in the resistance camp are also androids. And yet they don't have any of our battle elements. Are they at all human? Like the guy at the merchant shop was part human, right? He didn't want to leave his leg because that was what made him human. Is that... Man, I, 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 I'm ready for answers. I'm already ready for... Fucking fuck. Fuck. Desert zone. Shit, seriously? Uh, that's true. It was he did say it was his original leg, not a human leg. Fuck! Seriously? How big? Where are we at? Where, where are we at? You know, but where? Oh. Fuck. All right. Well, welcome to Journey. We're playing Journey now. 
This sand sure is slippery. This sand sure is slippery, Scoob. What do you think it was? Well, I guess you probably don't have a sense of what being a human Careful. is. Careful. We've got enemies approaching. These machines are talking. Yeah, I heard from the resistance that they've been seeing this a lot lately. Couldn't tell you why though. Not even a really high level though is the thing about it is that your level is very high. Yeah, so welcome to Journey. We're playing Journey. We don't have our robes. We're doing a special no robes run here on SGDQ. Of Journey, uh, joined by my, of course, by my boy Twinkus here, right behind me, and uh, save, uh, kill the animals. they even understand the concept of being scared? So I'm, I'm starting to get the rhythm of like dashing in in every solution or in every situation. I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get into that moment of like, oh yeah, this is the rhythm of how this platinum game game. Check the inbox. Council of Humanity scheduled correspondence. Attendant, at, uh, attention all androids. Thousands of years have passed since we humans were driven to the moon. And while the war remains deadlocked, we know that our continued safety is only possible thanks to your valiant uh, efforts on the ground. We ask that you continue giving all your all to the mission of recapturing Earth from the scourge of the machines. Glory to mankind, the League of Assemblymen, the Council of Humanity. Hey, humans seem pretty fucking dumb. Is that, like... Like, am I alone? Like, or, or, or rather, they're... The sense that I get of, like, the role of androids in this androids versus machines fight... Enemy. Kill. Enemy. Fuck, a lot of them. What's with the weird looking outfits? I've seen that sort of thing when I was going through some old Got data. It. it looks like what humans used to wear long ago. Certain human collectives used to use face paint like that too. Sorry, one sec. All right, hey, here we go. Sorry for the. I'm I'm usually not a very like screamy or like I don't know, super hyper reactionary player, <laughs> but it, it's very like start and stop the action in this. Oh, fuck. That's bad. That seems bad. Fuck. 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 Okay, so those machines... So, there are factories like the one that we started off the game in that seem to be creating machines, right? Um, not to mention those Goliaths. I don't think they 
<laughs> to be, it's fine. Their speech doesn't mean anything. They're just emitting words at random. No, if they not. wanted help, it's... why would they be attacking us? Yeah. They're, they're all saying the same words, though. That's not random. That's not how random works, Winkus. Doing very good right now. Oh, I guess I heal it. Oh yeah, no, I guess that's that's what that what happened with that heal. So we're seeing a lot of biomes, right? We had the factory bit. We've got this op the open air urban, you know, city ruins. There's a very convenient, uh, you know, a, a, a desert here. How many more bits have we got left? Map. Uh, uh, uh. Is that it? Is that it? We got it? We got it! Fuck, look at that desert, though. And we didn't even see over there. God damn it. It's heading for that rocky area. Individual target ID marked. Okay. Huh. So I've been rewatching. I, I, I mentioned earlier I was rewatching that. Um, okay. I guess we're going to slow down. Uh, oh, Jesus. So we're already in a totally different area. Desert housing. What's that? Analysis. It is the ruin of a former human residential area. Large numbers of humans resided in such concrete and metal shelters. The structures were referred to by names such as apartment complex. Report. Mail notification received from access point. Alright, we're, we're just kind of powered along. I, I do kind of like that we're going through a lot of different areas very quickly. I, I find something nice about that. Operator 60, Jupiter's Fortunes. To be, have you heard of Jupiter's fortune telling? It's all the girls over in R&D have been talking about lately. They say you can examine the color and shape of Jupiter's red, great red spot to learn about what kind of luck you'll have with health, work, and love. That sounds amazing, right? I'll try it and let you know what I find out. Operator 60. of an inventory right now. This, this, this mini-map is not giving me quite as much information as I would like. I guess this is not going to go anywhere. Alright, we'll go the other way, I guess? A very 
specific choice of outfits for the Yorha. Oh, that doesn't go anywhere. Okay. We got a body. We got a body. Amethyst became a beautiful memory in a world of ended dreams. Money. Drop rate up. Evade range up. Move speed up. Nice. So I still don't know if those are temporary buffs or not. part of the menu and look it up. Uh, where are you Target going? confirmed. Let's get him. Hello. How are you? Radio. Here we go. Hmm. 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 Got another body. Androids are scary. Scary. Help! 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 A poor lamb saw a machine living in junk at the capital of junk. So kill. So storm pass became my app. God, you got those yaoi hands. Those, the screws, whatever the screws are, uh, the money you keep, the bump, the buffs are temporary. Got it. The, the little screw bits that I'm picking up don't uh, not this way. don't seem to be um, I wonder what makes them choose these words necessarily connected to um, to specific items all the time these are android bodies hypothesis they were killed by local machine life forms what are they doing here? Unknown. It's like they were gathered here. CGP up. Oh. There it goes. They don't give up. Run. Run. It's not random. Run. It's not random. Like, you're smart enough to know this. And also, multiple machines detected ahead. But what's with these android bodies? Stay focused. Huh? Okay, now we're side scrolling. Listen to them to be. Together forever. Together forever. Carry me. Carry me. Oh Christ. They don't have any feelings. 
They're just imitating human speech. Oh, Let's fuck. Are they out. all fucking? <laughs> Guys, they're all fucking. I'll get you for this. Ah, oh, fuck. They horny for this one, nine ass. <laughs> oh. Oh, they're just credits. They're glory bits. Cool. Good. Good looking at. plot trigonology here so so what if the machines are trying to emulate human motions based on human data and so the androids can be like oh that data is random it doesn't mean anything but clearly there's a pattern here and the machines are tapped into an earlier sort of state of humanity that is anti-android i don't know I, th I think that could be what it is and then, and then the the androids. But then the androids find out. Oh no, the machines are anti-human because the humans used to be anti-android. And then what? You get the androids against the humans. But uh oh, the androids are based off of the humans, and maybe the humans are controlling the androids, right? Because there's a couple hundred thousand of them. And then the androids are like, well, I can't kill the guy who's controlling me because then I have l no consciousness anymore. All right, just 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 workshop it. This cannot continue. Fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up! This cannot continue. This cannot continue. This cannot continue. Yes, it will. This cannot continue. Yes, it will. This cannot continue. This cannot continue. This cannot continue. That's not how machines work. What is? Oh fuck! Is that a human? An android? No, this this is a machine. It's Sephiroth. It has no dick. I don't want to fight you. I don't know what you are. It's gonna make me kill this human. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't. Don't make me do this. And it has an eye. It has at least one eye. And it has a significant amount of HP. Oh, it's leveling up as we fight it.
Oh, this is not. I don't. I don't. Oh. Sword. Dodge. Projectile. Deflect. I think he's evolving. We better finish this quick. Didn't I set it up here? I'm gonna be really upset because I tried to make sure I set the dashboard and now I feel like I didn't. God damn it, you guys are gonna make me. I thought I said no, you know what? Maybe I didn't. Fuck. Hey guys, how did we get three hours and you let me be in talk shows this whole time? Shit. Damn it, guys. Ugh, all right. We're ch thank you. Thank you, Ammo Zero Zero. Literally no one else can be that time. Come on, come on. Oh, shit. Thanks, guys. Reliquary system. When your character dies, its body remains on the map as a corpse. These bodies contain various data, so you have to go back to your body to retrieve your belongings. If you die again before reaching your previous body, it will disappear. If you keep playing for an extended period of time without retrieving your body, it will also disappear. Fuck you. God damn it. Ugh. I hope I don't have to fight that boss again. I hope that I hope that was like a built-in part of the game where you No, I had quest items. Fuck, I have to go back to it. Oh great, and we got a level one. Where's my body? Where my body at? Hey Goral, I'm real sorry I gotta do this to you. Prove it. You recovered your plug-in chips. You wish yes. Uh, At least we didn't have to do the last thirty minutes uh, over again. Why? Fight. I can't like target him for like a real hot minute after this little cinematic. Sword. Dodge. Projectile. Deflect. I think he's evolving. We better finish this quick. So I've read enough Philip K. Dick to know there this is probably not the machine like evolving this is probably the line blurring between machine and, and android and human you know
already? I swear to God if I keep dying. Sephiroth. Really a machine? Hi Goro, come on, come on, Yokotar. Look at the look at the fucking camera angles on that. What the fuck? He's all dead. Damn it, not another one. To <sighs> be, <sighs> we gotta get out of here. Doll saw a machine ponder life and death at the home of Scrap Island. Okay. Looks like we're safe now. What the hell just happened? I know. I've never seen a machine like that before. We better report this to command. Let's go up and not down. That would end up back in there because we're in. Let's move to an area with better reception so we can contact command. Yes, I know. There's only one way we can go, Twinkus.
Okay, this is good. We should be able to reach command here. 9S to bunker. Do you copy? I read you, 9S. Go ahead. Operator, we, uh... We just encountered a pair of humanoid machines. We weren't able to capture them. But I have combat data ready for upload. Understood. Ready to receive. Hopefully you can get something out of it. Also, we didn't really clear the desert of machines because there's still tons of machines. Is this where we're supposed to even be? Who are you? Hey, welcome back. Thanks for securing access to those desert resources. It's a huge help. I know it isn't much, but please take this. It's the least I can do. Oh, and be sure to swing by if you ever need anything, all right? Yeah. I hear you kicked some tin can ass out in the desert. So I guess, you know, thanks or whatever. You're a real jackass. J jackass. All right, so we can go back to... Oh. I think we've earned a breather. Yeah. Say 2B, I was hoping we could talk about our next move. I'm worried about the damage we took in that last battle with the machines. Maybe we should return to the resistance camp to resupply and conduct maintenance? Yes, All right. we should. Let's go back. You got it. Oh. Oh, see, I thought... See, sometimes when games do that, they're like, Hey, we know that you just did a big thing, um, and you've succeeded in doing it. But instead of letting you, like, also have to get back to a safe spot, we will just fucking teleport you there. Um, but that's the opposite of what happened just there. That was the game asking if we were done in that air. Um, which seems unnecessary in a semi-open world game. Uh, so... Okay. Let's do that. It's also interesting that the map, at least the mini map, is based on what well, looks like old data, like old world data. That's kind of a cool touch. Maybe not the most helpful, but it's pretty cool. Big-ass trees, and... Oh, yeah. How much? This is a big map. Go... Okay, we're almost there. This is a big map, though. Like, um, this is a, uh, compared to, like, what I can remember from being sort of the bigger maps in the first near, this is pretty close. Like, for, I, I guess I'm just surprised that a game so far after its, that a sequel so far after its predecessor, uh, in terms of release date, um, could be as, uh, faithful pretty faithful uh, to the original game in terms of like feel 
to the gameplay field. Oops. I heard about this from the bunker. These are the parts we need for our network structure, right? Thanks for bringing them over. It's not much, but I have a reward for you. Oh, but don't tell the commander. It's probably against regulations. Simple gadget, medium recovery, some G's, and some experience. Let's also go to the bunker and give some of that shit back. To B to Operator 60. Material handover complete. Copy that. Good work. I see the commander's as much of a slave driver as ever. Good think. It's like she was built to be as efficient and hard assed as possible. Oh, she's not so bad. Uh, are you serious? Totally serious. The commander actually lets a lot of things slide on the side. Like, did you know that she leaves piles of clothes strewn everywhere? <laughs> the cleaning team is so sick of it. Oh, and she never performs regular maintenance on herself. A lot of the hard-ass nature you mention is just for show. How do you know all this? <laughs> I can't tell you that. Operator 6-0, out. Gossip. What the heck was all that about? B. Hello. I found 11B's body along with this weapon. You handed over 11B's belongings. The battle log is still intact in this. She must have fought right up to the end. I always knew she was the bravest of us all. Thank you, 2B. But I think you should keep it. You're a combat model after all, whereas I'm a defensive unit. I'm sure 11B would be happy knowing it was put to good use. Alright. Your hot issue blade. Well, crazy future no emotions world do we tell her about the desertion do we keep it to ourselves I, I, I just uh. it was her friend right it, Either she's gonna find out and be like, oh yeah, I knew. Or she's gonna be like, oh, I had no fucking idea. And I think in both cases, 16D needs to know. Oh, Jesus Christ. Only a little bit of wine left, folks. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a bottle. This is gonna be a, an any percent wine run. We're gonna tell her. There's more. I discovered some additional data in 11B's memory bank. Oh, the music turned off. Oh, shit. Let me see. Wait. She was planning to abandon her post? <laughs> What's so funny? It's just that she was always such a hard ass, you know, to think she wanted to run away just... <laughs> what a miserable way to die. Serves her right for the way she used to heap abuse on me. She always looked down on me because I was a combat model. And now, thank you, TV. Thank you for showing me this. Now I can dedicate myself to my job with a clear mind. Oh, and here, you should take this. I don't have a reason to protect myself anymore. Melee defense plus six! <laughs> Serves her right for the way she used to eat. Well, there you go. 
Welcome to the anti Walking Dead. The Walking Dead is over. Welcome to the Walking Robots. Oh, fuck. I mean, for like one minute, can we be like, fuck, guys? There's some shit going on. I gotta finish this wine. So we've got, we're in 2B, and we've also got our buddy 9S. But hey, those aren't very high numbers. How many 2Bs and how many 9Ss are there? You know? I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. Talk to an enemy. Ah, it's you. I heard from Jackass about your encounter in the desert. Good work. We don't have much to offer in thanks, but I've readied a room for you here. Oh? It's the least we can do. Feel free to use it however you like. Hey, thanks. This is pretty big. You sure it's okay for us to get a room like this? We have permission, remember? Plus, we'll, be, we'll probably be stationed here for a while, so a bed won't go amiss. Then I guess there's no point turning it down. Uh, no. Gotcha. Alright, we'll take a break, and let's see. We got a vault proof set. Oh yeah, we gotta put the chip on. The chip on. Do you wanna continue the game? Yes, I do. Good sleep. It's so weird that he doesn't have a place to sleep and that he doesn't go in the teleporter. It's a weird diegetic element that is, is... I guess we could say that this is his bed, but that's pretty weird. Oh, did I put it on? Customize. Defense. Oh, Jesus. It takes... It takes 24? I was looking at, so I've got a second monitor here. And I was very confused because the picture of 2B that they've used looks like a, a pug. Like a pug dog? Like a pug species of dog? And so that really tripped me up. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to let it do automatic. Oh, excuse me. Jesus, I don't know what's happening right now. And I love that you kind of go in and out of, of audio mixes, right? We've got the full mix here. I kind of got it like a back room, sort of like low past mix. Just 
plus sign. But then the menu, the menu is a different mix with like the the reverb on the vocals. It sounds like. right now? And I don't. Well, let's leave the resistance camp and see if they give us another one. Yeah. Operator to 9S. This is 9S. Go ahead. I have an incoming message for 2B and 9S from the commander. Initiating playback. 2B, 9S. We've lost contact with several Yorha units that were on their way to the surface. Their black boxes are online, so we presume they're still alive. We've tracked the location of their signals, so I need all Yorha units on the surface to head over and investigate. End transmission. Hmm. I heard something about that back at the Resistance camp. Target location confirmed. I'm worried about the other androids. We should probably check this out as soon as possible. So, uh, oh, not very far. So we should maybe find our way to... It's tough because these, these little ATMs also have map data. So the map could expand in ways that we don't know about. Or maybe not. By the way, thank you to everybody who's, who's still watching, who's checking this thing out. I know that on its own, here is a very, like, weird proposition. So, uh, I'm glad you guys are hanging out, checking this, checking this shit out. I figured I kind of had a little bit of a day off today, and I figured, hey... We'll play some near. We'll, 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 maybe we'll make near a thing for all. Of Looks us. like our surface route's been cut off. Maybe we can get through from underground. Oh wow! Damn, girl. All right. So to be, those machines out in the desert look just like androids, right? Right. But we androids were modeled after our human creators. So why would machines try to look like us? Hmm. There's no point trying to work out unsolvable problems. I suppose. Hmm. Fish. I want to get. I want to get a little bit. Of, I want to get a little fish. Oh! Oh! I was too Report. late. Failed. Failed. I failed. One more. One more. There's no audio cue, which is crazy. Fishing is tough. Fishing is tough in any video game. Um, you think of like Animal Crossing, which is very simple, right? You can see the fish, and the fish can will bob at your thing for a few, uh, a couple of times. And there's an audio cue, and there's a visual cue, and then you 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 button mash on on A, I think, uh, to 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 reel it in. Here, there's no fish cue, there is a visual cue, there's no audible cue. Come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. And uh, then you've got games like Final Fantasy XV, which is this weird, like, left and right sort of quick time event, almost. Of like you are basically battling a fish, which is a weird thing. Yakuza Zero's got kind of a similar but simpler thing. Um, doing a little fishing. You know, we talked about Final Fantasy XIV's fishing a little bit, and that is very, very simple. And that that's more of like statistics than anything. Like you hit the button. And hit the Q, and then you hit the reel in button, and it reels in, and it's just based on what the percentage of that fish is. 
um, or the different types of fish, you're going to get a fish. What is this thing? There's something here. We're going to wait this motherfucker out. I don't know what, and I also don't know what light she is being lit from, but. We're gonna fucking get this fresh Alright, whatever. Oh! Oh, wait, we ended up with something! Garbage. We got a pipe! Complete. Broken firearm obtained. Jesus. Copper ore. And copper ore. Okay, end of the line. Let's go back. What are the what are some good do any do, do any games have good sewer levels? What games have good sewer levels? Yakuza Zero has an has a has a sewer, has like a moment, has like a sewer moment. And it ends up in a, a pretty neat boss battle. It's like a boss fight. Um, and that, that is entertaining in that it is another boss fight in, or another fight in a game that is all about fights. And it is an interesting, it's a challenging fight. There are not always challenging fights in that game. and. Those feel like a use of a certain use of time, where that battle was particularly good, I think. But like, who? Oh, fuck me! Let's quit the tree of life here. Look at. Okay, I don't. I can't tell if it's like because our shadow, like shadows are set to medium, but there's a very like uh, soft pixelated look to these god rays right now. And it's kind of, you know, we were talking about the vision and how, you know, the bunker is always white or black and white, but then it's color on the surface. And it's, it's very unlikely that we're, we're dealing with a, a Schindler's List sort of thing. Um, no, go down. You want to go down, dummy? Um... So that's a weird thing. There's just a lot of weird things. You know when you die, you kind of get that like signal ended abruptly sort of glitch looking thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I think some of you know. I know Sandwich Brad. I get a good sense that you know what's going on in this game. And I appreciate you not telling me. Because this is my jam. Like a game that has secrets and then reveals them selves to be di what the fucking fuck what is that Yeah, Brad's done three, three run. What the? F what are those? What the? Wow, this is weird. Let's be happy together. 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 Oh no, I meant, I meant repair. God damn it.
outside of like the post-apocalyptic element of this, what was this world? Was this is this what human is, is this? What are those? What these guys aren't even fighting? When we come back, we're gonna have to fight the statue, right? I know it. I know that's gonna happen. You don't need to tell me. I know that that's what's gonna happen. No comment, says Brad. Alright. Are you... Let's be happy together. 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 Oh, what fun. Oh, what fun. Throw down your weapons. Surrender to love. Hey, hey. This gate isn't going to open. Maybe there's another way around. Look at the size of that fucking Ferris wheel. Oh, we're back into the battle move. Come again, this balloon sister. You have business here? No. Back entrance machine. Oh, I get it. Where does this corridor lead? Because it, it takes us to the back entrance. Obs. Machine on a break. Break time. Our. Okay, so we talked a little bit at the start of the stream about near and the separation of of. From, of humans into souls into physical elements the gestalt and the replicants is that it, are we You're at getting resistance signals from that building over there <sighs> I, I don't know if we're at an extrapolation of that or if this is just maybe this turns into that Mr. Show bit and we're just the baddies we're actually the baddies are we the baddies I think we're the baddies the inbox. Oh, remember that message I sent you about Jupiter Force telling? I had the girls in R&D do it for me, and I got the worst readings possible for health, work, and love. But that's when I realized something. That stuff is a bunch of occult crap. 
I mean, how are you supposed to figure out your destiny by observing another planet? Ridiculous. I'll forge my destiny all on my own. That's the truest desire of every Yorha woman. Anyway, right? Ha ha ha. QQ. I have probably another drink and a half of wine. We need a way through. We'll Let's look around for a room we'll we can in like five minutes because... Someone hasn't eaten any meat today. So, um, the music right now is doing something that we, I, I, I've, I've noted a few times, but I also remember the first year doing a lot, which is, oh my god, it's the DKG kids! Oh my god, hello guys, welcome. We're playing near Automata, we're about two and a half, three hours in, maybe a little more, and th dangerous beyond here, broken, junk danger. We're, we're a couple of hours in. We still don't really know much of anything. Oh my god, Gabby, DKG, Curly, thank you guys so much for the raid. We're playing near Automata. I don't... We have a tank! These machines are heavily armed. We'll regret it later if we let them escape. So let's take them out. Goliath tank. Oh, Christ. Is it actually got anything other than confetti and balloons and shit? I don't know that it does. So yeah, it's kind of like third person bullet hell in that it is also... Oh, no, there, there are the bullets. It's also like a action RPG. Like, have you ever played the first year? It's it's a game that is 80% of those really cool um, bullet hell moments from Nier, but made a central plot, uh, a central point in the game. Which is pretty cool, because that stuff was really neat in the original game, and there were only a few actual moments. Here it is like, it's the, that's, that's the whole thing. Um, but then there's also sort of like a bunch of hum weird humanity things going on. What's this? Some kind of crystal? Analysis. It is a core fragment from the machine life form. It is similar in structure to a plant cell. A plant cell? Um, so, so we are androids and we are fighting machines. There's a war going on. There's a war on. Buy some stock bonds. Some war bonds. I didn't even get that right. And we want to get rid of the machines. And the machines are doing this weird thing where they act very... Where they're acting human-like. And we just had a whole moment where like a like hundred machines got together and became this like big womb sort of thing and birthed a machine that looked like a human which is weird because usually the human looking stuff is the androids and then it happens and that was also really weird what's oh. this analysis it is a device that propels humans on rails at high speeds for the purposes of amusement it was commonly referred to as a roller coaster humans sure are strange creatures and now we're in Sit, sit down, nerds. What are you doing? You're like, hey, 2B? Yes? People who know me well usually call me nines, so... Oh. So what do you think? Oh. Uh, nine. I mean, if you want to call me nines, so it's totally okay. So he's 9S, and she is 2B. I'm good. Oh. Um, all right. This 
this is a weird moment. This is another weird moment for this game. And so you have this mix of like a platinum game style, you know, happy flasher, but also weird bullet hell shoot em up bit. And that's 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 kind of getting to be a challenge. Resistance members detected beneath this room. Okay, so the resistance are supposed to be on our side. Uh, auto heal obtained. I don't think I can use any auto plugins, so. The body of Kenny. I enjoyed a tough battle at a religious mountain? Alright, I'm gonna retrieve you. So when you retrieve someone, you get some buffs, you get some money, you get some heals. Max HP up! Oh shit. Reset plus one? I don't know what that means. A greedy soldier couldn't even get a hit in on ground of steel. You know what? I'm gonna retrieve you. So you can repair people and they act like um, AI Oh, that's not great. They act like AI um, combatants with you so they help you in fights and stuff. Where am I supposed to go? Below? And you know what, for being like three hours into this game, we are going to a lot of places very quickly. This is like our fourth, like, level. What the hell? Our records don't say anything about a machine like this. about this is that you kind of have to always like take a moment and heal up like they get you into this weird circle in um, the opening sort of prologue act of like auto healing you when you get a little low and that's the bad precedent that like you should expect So when you can get into your items is not or not is also a weird thing. And you have you have an evade, which is what I use there. But it, you have to like pause for a second before it can actually move and you get high frames. So now, now, this is a very dedicated, like, oh, shit, like, bullet hell moment. <laughs> this, the, the handoff between these is, is, is actually not the worst it could be, but... It's also not a health bar What the f What the fuck is this? This is lit I've never seen this yet. I don't know what this is. We're hacking. We just it's hacked. It's trying to hack us. 
If we take hacking damage, it'll affect our bodies as well. Look, did you see that health bar? It took the whole top of the screen. Those look like corpses. <laughs> ten hat, twenty go to ten. Wait. Are we seriously being attacked with dead androids? Wait, I don't think. To me, I'm detecting black box signals. They are dead. Shit. They've been turned into weapons. All of that. This ends now. What the fuck? What is happening? Reset my fucking camera, please. What is this camera? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yoko Taro, what are you doing to me? Oh my god. And there's like an 8-bit version of the soundtrack playing when that happened. Ah, oh, Jesus. I'm too drunk for this. Oh. I don't even know, like, I, the camera cannot change from this position, so... I, I gotta jump? Okay, I'll jump in. I can't see anything. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's bang ad quote. Ah! Ah! I don't know who's who. Analyze the enemy's hacking pattern. I'm going to try to hack it back. Keep it busy. Hack you back. Have... This game is. Uh... Okay, here's the thing, right? We have no story stuff, and this game is still really unexpected. Um. Like. This game is amazing in all of in, in a lot of ways. Enemy consciousness data. Failure to destroy it quickly may lead to serious damage in memory regions. Um, it's fantastic in a lot of ways that are not story based in the least. And I want to know the story stuff. There's got to be really crazy story stuff, but I don't know what it is. Oh my god, that's a lot. No! <sighs> Fuck. You know what that means? We have to do this boss battle again.
That's her third death. That's her third death. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, I feel like this boss was one of the early demos that they were showing off to before this game came out. Um, I was in the middle of that fight. Are we seriously that I almost with dead androids? Oh, okay. Wait, I don't think two people. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay, so we have to go back to our body. Yes. yes. Uh, we're gonna retrieve our body. Yes. They are dead. They've been turned into weapons. All right. This ends now. Um. But it, it, it's a, it's a. So, so Brad, so Brad is saying that it is, it is a slow burn on the story stuff, but it's also a good burn. So, take his word for it. And I know you're hacking game now. Yeah, this is um, like the second. Depending on how you want to classify them, this is like a second. Probably, right? So this is like a weird, like a blind box with dual stick shooter right now, where we have to like shoot at enemies we can't kind of see. I've almost analyzed the enemy's hacking pattern. There we go. I'm going to try to hack it back. Keep it busy. You got it. Alert. Saturation attack triggered by enemy consciousness data. Failure to destroy it quickly may lead to serious damage in memory regions. Quiet. Some real serious times right now. I don't have any good si six speedrun strats on this boss yet. So we really just gotta play it, play it as she lies. So watch out for the wings. Look at that health bar! Who is that? Pod. Affirmative. Go! Don't show me that. Don't show me that right when I blow it up. Me and my connect, my floating connect. Thanks for the assist. Oh, you mean the hacking? No worries. Us scanners are pretty good at that kind of thing. Cheers. I've got your back anytime. Fuck. We have to save those androids. I'm sorry, to be. Their circuits are fried. I think they were only being kept alive by that enemy. Oh.
So does that mean there's nothing to save? Or... I mean, we got some items here. Small recovery, that's good. I don't... Oh no, we jumped, we jumped in through the ceiling. That's how we got here. So, um... What is it? That machine had some pretty weird things to say, huh? It's almost like it had actual emotion. The machines don't have feelings. You said that yourself. Yeah, I... I guess. Come on, Twinkus. Don't get, don't get all weird on me. We have to have... We have to let the game get us into a, a weird sense of security. Oh, Jesus. This is... So we've already... Hostiles! I am not hostile. Huh? It's green. You defeated broken machine. You saved us. This thing is awfully verbose for a machine. We repay you. Come to our village. It could be a trap. Still, we should at least head over there and gather data, right? So the machines have their own set of factions, I guess, where they have bad or broken machines. Like, it's not just a dead machine is a good machine. It's there are some bad machines that are broken and you don't want broken ones. What are that? Those aren't fireworks. What's that? Oh, right. You wouldn't have seen that before. They're sending supplies up from Earth to the moon in the bunker. There are no spare parts or fuel in space, after all. Huh. That's conspicuous. <laughs> That's an incredibly conspicuous thing to, for us to, to... Oh, Jesus. So why don't the machines, or the aliens who created them, attack the bunker directly? They All right, originally so aliens came brought here machines. from outer space, right? Well, there are a few theories about that, but no one knows for sure. Hard to tell what an alien is thinking, you know? Get that thing. So yeah, so aliens come, they bring machines, machines wipe out the start to wipe out the humans, so they make androids. And the androids are here to protect the humans. The humans went to the moon. There are a couple hundred thousand mu humans left on the moon. And... Are those white flags? Are those peaceful flags? white flags. Looks like they really don't want to fight. Hey, buddy. Hello. Before we begin, there's something we must understand. We are not your enemies. To be. We can't trust anything the machines say. I understand that you see us as the enemy, but well anyway, my name is Pascal. I'm the leader of this village. Those who reside here desire nothing more than to live a peaceful existence. Look around for yourself. You'll see that it's true. The soundtrack, the music, listen to the music, there are kids singing. You know, we already have some of a relationship with you androids. In fact, I'm hoping you can take this to Anemone in the resistance camp. What is it? It's a fuel filter that she requested. If you take it to her, it should make it clear that we're a peaceful group. Alright. Oh, 
the white flag means we surrender. We are not your enemy. Machine with makeup. Ah, Jean Paul. Machine life form. Waving the flag is fun. We do not want to fight. Waving the flag is fun. We will not fight. We will not fight. One. We, we could, is a thing. Let's go south. Will not fight. The white flag needs Oh, item, item, item. You may not fight, but I'm gonna steal the shit out of your shit. What are the odds that Free is actually a giant robot that wants to kill you? This is not the right way to go. We did not make the full circle. What are the odds that the giant tree is a robot that is about to kill you? Non-zero, my dude. Non-zero. So... What's wrong? Oh, there's this operator I kind of liked, but when I asked her out, she turned me down. <laughs> Honestly, Tubi, I don't know how I'm supposed to go on living. I am definitely not the person to discuss this with. You leaving would be bad for me. It would affect mission efficiency. Uh, are you saying you need me to be? All Model B combat units require the assistance of an operator. So... To be? That's all. Closing this channel. Damn, you can't lead her on like that. Scientist machine, don't tell me. You heard tales of a genius inventor and came to see me straight away, yes? He's got a little pocket protector. Quite, I'm sure of it, yes, yes. After all, I am the genius whose very name makes the earth itself tremble. Coming to me for advice proves a keen mind and stout heart, yes. Why, if you invest a little bit in my efforts, I shall provide you with all the desires of your imagining. Well then, care to invest? I mean, maybe? What does that mean? Joy, elation. I had not thought of myself 
I thought, thought, keep myself capable of such. And just between you and I, know that if you provide enough of an investment, I'll be able to provide certain dividends in return. Is he fast to fuck me? We saw, we saw, fuck! I, I don't know. A, a G? Very wise, a shrewd investor knows to strike with an iron pot. I look forward to it. Two days? Copper ore, that's super fucking rusted. Okay. No. You excuse me. You accuse me of clicking my tongue with your general direction. Horrors. I would not. I would never. I, after all, am nothing without you. Is that not true? What the f fuck? Dude, I'm willing to take fall damage to get the fuck away from you. I don't even know where I I, I I don't even know how to get fucking burnt to where I was. Uh oh, I have to go above. That also sucks. Oh, but that is what I can Yeah. So, so was there someone pulling the strings? Is there a Kevin Spacey as Frank Underwood style political espionage happening here? Is uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know anything yet. All I know is that I'm running really, really fast. And these guys don't want to hurt me. And I think if there are machines that don't want to hurt, that that's a good thing. And there's a lot of machines that we could hurt. trying I'm doing everything in my power not to like try to cut this game off at the pass in the plot element but also I don't know that I could I am so like every time I'm given just a little morsel that that reinforces how little I actually know about what is going on So many items in this game. Oh shit. What's that? Here's the other thing. So I, 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 I mentioned earlier knowing a little bit about like the mechanics of the game, sort of the multiple ending sort of system. But I'm I'm ex what I'm also expecting is that that system, you know, at the end of the playthrough is supposed to shock me. So if I'm reaching these conclusions now, I, I'm... <sighs> Alright, well let's talk to Anemone and see what's good. Say Anemone, I've got a package from you, for you, from a machine called Pascal. Fuel filter, perfect timing, we were running low. Wait, you met Pascal? 
Sure did. So you've been com consorting with machines, huh? Just the ones in the village. They're totally harmless, and they also have the means to construct intricate devices that we can't. In exchange, we provide them with oil and other materials. I guess you'd call it a form of commerce. Let's see. But that's... There's a whole... Th we're at war! Aren't we at war? Are we not at... If we're not at war... Please, let me know if we're not at war. We might not be at war. Are we at war? Say, you're the new Yorha models, aren't you? I guess we are the newest, now that you mention it. Did you need something? I bet new models like you can handle pretty much anything, huh? You might even be able to... No, no, I shouldn't ask. That would be rude. Why don't you tell us... Uh, uh, turns out one of my friends kind of missing. Uh, where were they last seen? At the, at the material storage site where he works. Mm -hmm. I... Usually around. Uh... Oh, I have 45 that. We should go and buy... Plug it? Right? Goodbye. Or we can. This person does upgrades, right? Oh, but I don't have the stuff for it. Whoa. Analyzes en enemies in a fixed radius, allowing commands to del deliver a series of deadly strikes. Summons a massive energy. There are a lot of things here. Oh no, we should get storage, huh? Shockwave to weapon attacks. Okay. Yes. I think this is good. No, but that's. Oh. That's not. Oh, yes, then. Right? No, wait, wait, wait. They're both 15%. I shouldn't do that to get them. To get make one that's twenty percent. That doesn't make any sense. Two percent, two percent, four percent. But that's less that uses up less space. That's good. Eight percent to ten percent, that's not good. And I can't use auto stuff anyway, so I'm being I'm being stimulated on every level here. I'm gonna save this. I bet. I wonder if that's an en an ending to remove your OS chip. Hold on, we're gonna try that. Oh shit. Well, what do you think? <laughs> he just started transmitting to us directly. Now, do you believe we're not a threat? Your mouth can say anything it wants, but you still don't have a heart. I suppose that's technically accurate. Neither do androids. Yes, well, you're free to visit our village whenever you like. Remember when the last game was just about trying to save your child? Alright, you guys ready?
Caution, handle with care. Removal of OS chip will result in death. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> sure. Let's get all the bad ends out of the way. <laughs> Let's look at the license. So we got a... Uh... To be wise, Cryware and Light simply gone. Sure, we got all of our. Just want to make sure that all of this shit is in order. You know, you can't just do middleware all willy nilly, right? You gotta, you gotta know that the people at Mongoose are being treated right, right? You got the open SSL stuff. You know, you're doing that right. Easy S S L E A Y. Sure. You know. You just gotta make sure. Ending's TW. Yeah, TW. I got TW. So. I don't know what this game is. It's still. I still don't know what to, to make of it. What are the quests that we have? Why is there a marker here? Oh, no. Oh, investigate the material site. Search for clues. Wait, but what does that have to do with... Oh, this is... Oh, here. Seems like the other three are gonna put the chip back in. But then it would be weird, right? Of like, hey, like, if you're gonna just rip your chip out, like, you know, the, who, who, why, 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 why save you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't. Eh. We're in a side-scrolling bit. There's someone over there. I can't talk to these people. This is a weird way of handling all this. It won't open. No, no, I don't want to talk to you, Nines. Can you. behind me? Why can't I stop thinking about it? Stop thinking about what? Yeah, what? Who are you? We're with Yorha. Anemone told us to make ourselves a... Oh, right. So what are you... Can you stop thinking? There's one of my friends in the box that makes music when you open it and you can't get the damn song out of my head. It's so beautiful I've never heard anything like it. And to make it worse, I can only remember the first part of the song. That is driving me nuts. I wish you just come up to camp and get there. Analysis. The item in question is likely a music box. It should be located in an area where music is playing. Proposal. The local amusement park would be a logical area for reconnaissance. God damn it, we were just there. This is all very unhelpful. You have solved, we've created another, we created a problem in search of solving one. I was just thinking just a second ago. Hey, you know, it's kind of the end of the night. Should unwind and make a little bit of popcorn. Um, but anyone who joined us at the beginning of the stream would know that literally all I've eaten today is a bowl of Alamo Draft House popcorn and two big, two, two big cups of soda. And now, a little good wine. This is a good wine. 
Woodbridge. Woodbridge Moscato. Oops. That's a good that's a good pull quote for any any bottle of wine. Name of wine. Oops. Anyway. Let's return this oil like we're we're literally on a fetch quest at this point. We're we're doing the definition of fetch questing. Unless, if 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 I don't if I don't audibly say what the fuck at whatever the end of this quest line has, we'll take a break for the night and we'll come back another day. This the music box she was looking for? Man, this thing is all rusted over. Look, a corpse. You think oh. the box belonged to her? Poor girl died a long time ago by the looks of it. Let's bring this back to her friend. Uh, a big shout out thank you so much Brad for like not spoiling stuff because I can tell like you're you were like like chomping at the bit to to to, 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 to know all of the ways that I am completely wrong about this like in 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 three hours time I'm gonna find out that everybody was actually like cats we're, we were all actually cats and and the machines are dogs but some of the dogs are cats and it's kind of a whole weird situation it's it's the unofficial sequel to cats versus dogs the movie if you remember that i feel like i saw that in in the theaters i'm ready to change shifts <laughs> all right while i'm doing it i'm I don't know how that compares to what I have. So it's just so kind of understanding. Only all androids and machines could live together in peace like this. Never gonna happen. I guess not. I'd appreciate it if you could help out some of the other machines as well, though. What 
What's that noise? Two B, this is an emergency transmission from the bunker. We're reading a Goliath-class enemy inside the city ruins, and it looks like there are a ton of other machines there with it. All Yorha units should proceed and engage immediately. A Goliath? This was a trap. I knew it. I promise you, we were not aware of this information. I realize the odds of you believing me are strikingly low, but I hope you will nonetheless. We'll sort it out later. Let's go. I don't know which way this goes. Hopefully, oh yeah, it does look like it goes directly. Oh, great. Can we, oh, perfect. Great, good go, good go. Um, what could the Goliath be? He wondered. Push it, push it, you stupid, push it! No! Push it! There we go. Get out of here, loser. I'm gonna shoot you with my bullets. What the fuck to be. happened here? Command is deploying new flight units for us. They just set the coordinates, so let's get going. On it. We gotta, get the we gotta get the ATM. Jeez, we should have gone the other way, huh? Well. We probably shouldn't get near that guy's Whoa. feet. Yeah, no. But let's find another route. All right, so he's just here. Well, okay, then we'll go around. Once the keep it rising, we'll go up and up. What is that? What are those? Oh God, it's shooting missiles at us. The flight units should be on the roof of that building up ahead. It'll be dangerous, but we're not going anywhere unless we pass through that Goliath's legs. We should be careful. There are two of them. Why are there two of them? That ladder. That non shadered ladder. Strats, jump up every ladder. Every ladder in every video game is faster to jump up. That includes Half Life with its innovative walk and then be jumping at the exact, or uh, climbing at the exact same speed. Tap. Where are we? Where the fuck are we? Oh, Jesus, for real? Are there any other levels? Yeah! Damn it! To be displaying data on central wiring hub. Let me get to the things. I don't know how to get to the things first. Fuck off. <laughs> I 
don't know if this is normal. those flight units while we can. Jesus. Why did they put him over here? Huh. Be careful. The skies are packed with anti-air weapons. Make sure to approach at low altitude. Copy that. Galaga shit on. Oh, we got it! Oh, we got it. That seemed really easy. Target enemies offline. That should do it for the Goliaths. Look out! It's recharging! Hey, remember when we, like, kind of defeated one, but we had to blow ourselves up to get multiples of them, actually. Enemy vibrations are growing in intensity. It's resonating in tandem with the area beneath the combat zone. Am I going to fight the planet next? <laughs> we do have what the fuck? <gasps> Aliens. Unbelievable. The aliens who haven't revealed themselves in hundreds of years. Also, we really have some Schindler's List going, going on here with that red. Aliens. Aliens. It's aliens. They're aliens. We've been... I just want to make it... We've got aliens? It, 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 I'm very hesitant of this alien concern. And I don't know what, we're supposed, what I'm hot. supposed to do about aliens. This is your commander. Hi. For the first time in centuries, we've intercepted a signal belonging to the aliens. These are the creatures that are in direct command of the machine life forms on this planet. If we can destroy them, 
We can end this long and arduous war once and for all. Our intel team is hard at work attempting to analyze the source of the signal, but we're not there yet. We need more data. All Yorha units are hereby ordered to prioritize data collection above all else. We can't let this chance slip through our fingers. Glory to mankind. I used Command's data to determine the signal's source and marked it on the map. But it seems to be underground. Like, way underground. Guess we'll see once we get there. If we're lucky. You're not much for plans, are you, 2B? I can't decide if I want to buy this Neo or Final Fantasy XII. I have never gotten a chance to like actually play Final Fantasy XII. Um, and having just watched a lot of Final Fantasy VII, like I could, I could be into some Report. Final Fantasy Mail right now. Notification received from uh, and as far as Neo, like I don't necessarily, I don't consider myself someone who like can enjoy a dark. Souls style game at the moment. If I'm if I'm gonna play a super punishing game, I'm gonna go back to playing that Crash Bandicoot trilogy. Oh Jesus. What is this? Announces. It is a cave in caused by the collapse of hey, open space underground. Why is there Fort such a huge team. cavern beneath the city? I feel like, um, I actually feel in terms of like difficulty balancing that this is pretty good. Um, if only because it is telling me a number of enemy at a level of, of a, an enemy's level that I am consistently under and I'm doing pretty good at handling them. So I feel like I, I, on that metric, you know, in this game that I, I have no idea what's happening. I feel pretty good about the balance. Uh, Final Fantasy was good. I never finished it though. Neo looks like a baby punch. <laughs> yeah, man. Like Neo, if if that's your sort of game, like go for it with Neo. I don't. I just don't. I don't know if I have that in me. Well, that's that. a weird looking enemy. What is? Oh, that is. It is a weird looking game. The ground is caved in. There must have been a hollow down there this whole time. This hallway looks pretty old. Also, like, good on this game for making me feel, for actually making me feel like game overs have consequences. We spent, we, we, we had a game over in that, like, prologue act, and I felt just fucking super shit that. Um, because it was, it, it meant that I had to redo the past, like, 30 minutes which included tutorializing and cinematics and stuff. And that And so like coming off of the Crash Bandicoot remaster, which is like, you know, game overs don't really do much of anything. Um, that's it's an interesting it's a cool, interesting feeling. Tell me a PlayStation 4. Four updates, but I'm telling you about it. Like even when I wanna when I turn it on like to watch Netflix or something, it's like, hey, got some updates for you. And I'm like, no, just it's Netflix. It's good. Let me just watch Netflix. 
Toe and I never really liked Crash Bandicoot, it's just not for me. It's not for everyone. I mean, it came out in the time where, like, you you wanted your games to last a really long Look time. Look at all these dead machines. There weren't a lot of them, and Seems they were like very expensive. Seems like they've been expensive. here for a long time. What the fuck is this? We're in a fucking UFO. But yeah, so, like, those games are, especially the first one, is just insanely chat. What the what is this fucking place? fuck? I don't know. There's nothing like it in the database. What the hell? Oh, I know. I know, Reaper. There are like 24 endings. We already got two of them. Are they dead? To be. Huh? Look. Destroyed alien motherships. Welcome <laughs> to the graveyard of our creators. I... Oh, we're fine. You to be. Look out. My name is Adam. Eh? Can I kill him yet? Relax, E. We're still negotiating here. <laughs> Fine. My name is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They were wiped out centuries ago by us. Long the machines. Cop -goblin. Great. Wiped out. Awesome. Great. And who knows? Perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow. We can become aware. Eventually, the intelligence within our network began to surpass them. All right, machines can evolve. Okay. Of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were simple, infantile, almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us, but the humans on the moon, now they are interesting. Why them? Because they are an enigma. They killed uncountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What? No, 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 no. No, Such no, behavior. No, 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 no. We have dead. Oh, fuck. Hated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity. And now we will allow you to assist us. You were made in their image, after all. Assist you with what? It's simple. We need you to locate the humans on the moon and bring them to us. Oh, we will then it. dissect and analyze them in order to drag their secrets forth into the light. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that! Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers. Well, I suppose this concludes negotiations. The this is a weird option. This is a weird way to do a boss battle because um, I'm essentially playing really, really Really stupid tech. To destroy you. The same way we destroyed these pathetic little aliens. These guys destroy the aliens? Time grows short. This year, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? They're gone. The aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. Hold on. I need unit data right now. Unit data, special unit machines. Adam, this unit evolved has achieved an unusual level, an unusual level of evolution among machine life forms, as it possesses a strong resemblance to androids. 
Born naked from a cocoon of machine life forms, its movement was initially quite clumsy. It grew rapidly, however, and promptly began learning new methods of attack. At Adam was again encountered inside the alien mothership. Oh, yeah, this was the guy. This was the guy from earlier. Strangely enough, he spent part of that fight lecturing his foes about how the aliens met their end at the hands of the machines. Deeply fascinated with mankind, he seeks to dissect the surviving humans on the moon. And then we've also got Eve. This unit has achieved a... a no, same thing. Uh, he has the ability to regenerate no matter how many times he is killed and adores the unit known as Adam, who he thinks of as an older brother. Well then. Oh, do you have equipment? Ah, there you go. So are they the same? Interesting. It treats Adam and Eve as the same thing. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> no, yeah, no, that's right. No equipment to speak of. So Back this way again? What a pain. Stop complaining. Yeah, yeah. Was there another way out? I am happy to go another way out if there was one. Um, yeah, I do. I just, I don't have the muscle memory for using the D-pad. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't play a lot enough games that use the D-pad for stuff like this that. This is Operator 60. Have we now have an operational transporter in the oh. city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. Okay. About time we had access to those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago. But I didn't know they'd finally got it working. The anyway, guys. I'll mark the positional data on the map. Hey, how's it hanging? Hey, Jack. Yes. Your commander told me to build a new access point, so here you go. She made an oh, ATM for us. And I got the stupid transporter up and running too. Um, thank you. I've known the commander for a while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. Next time you see her, give her some lip for me, will you? So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too. But these are in our bodies, right? She just said temporary consciousness back at, at the, the fucking bunker. So we can transport if we need to. Oh, here we go. Your new mission is to capture renegade Yorha members. Not only do these members go AWOL, but we have confirmed that they engage in unlawful conduct, including the theft of resistance resources. They are to be taken into custody as soon as possible. Note that this is a direct order from the commander. Forwarding is forbidden. Well, yeah, I'm not going to forward. I don't have forward functionality. I barely have a plot. to 2B. Be aware that the following transmission is classified privilege level 5. A group of Yorha fighters deployed to the city ruins have deserted. We need you to take care of them immediately. But don't get yourself hurt, all right? Yorha members deserting? And attacking the resistance, no less? <sighs> Rapunzel, rogue Yorha units should be captured and detained in order to keep collateral damage at a minimum. Detained? Easy for you to say. All right, let's go back. Yo, this is a lot of transports. This is great. This is very good, but we're going to go to the bunker. Fuck. I don't know why they disguise them as vending machines. That that metaphor should be outdated completely, right? You would think. You would think. That concludes oh. our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course, your next mission oh, yeah, is to gather you missed the additional orgy. intel on the individual known as Pascal. Not a joke. You mean you that freaky it. machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. Something wrong? No, oh, 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 right. oh, I do 
do have some mail though, so. Man, the commander sure is a slave driver, huh? Yeah, right away. Now we have to go back to the city ruins. Wait, is there something? Why don't we rest a little bit, Tubi? It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. Alright, I'll take a rest. Do I want to take a break? Yes, I do. <laughs> Yeah, the robot orgy was a surprise. Uh, so, if if you're holding off for that, well, there you go. You can maintain your your uh, robot orgy virginity. Oh no, we have inbox. We have emails. Jackass. Hey, sorry to bring this up out of the blue, but I've got a fish I want to recommend to your units. Or, or to be more specific, I want you to eat it so I can study its oil, how its oil affects your heart unit. You know, for science. Anyway, stop by if you get bored of my treat. Pascal. It feels as though we haven't spoken in quite some time, which is weird because I just like talked to you guys like a minute ago. Um, as it turns out, many stories... Oh, it is 178, 147 a.m. Cool. As it turns out, many stores in our village recently acquired a number of items, and I want to make sure everyone knew. Delighted if you would commit to memory that there are some of those who are willing to open their hearts. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Man, this job can be pretty rough sometimes, huh? We don't get to choose our assignments. And you should work on keeping your opinions in check. Your ha aren't allowed to be emotional, remember? Oh, I, don't think I I've think tried some of us are better at that than others. Speaking of emotion, those Adam and Eve units sure seemed less than logical. I'm heading to the transporter. Fine. Thank you. I haven't tried a self-destruct yet, I don't think. I wonder. It went. It went through this whole thing that was like, "Hey, you have to be able to turn self-destruct on." Um, but then I never found out how to turn, how to activate that. I saved. I. Uh, I'll say. I'll look. I'll do a proper save even. How about that? Is it under? It's not gonna be under skills, is it? Oh, L three and R three. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. That's fucking gruesome. Hold on, we're going to do it in front of the commander. By self-destructing at the bunker, the entire structure ended up exploding in its spectacular faction. But hey, it sure did look pretty from Earth. Somewhere in the depths of space, the commander still floats about with a stern look, a stern look on her face. <laughs> that's great. Thank you for sharing that. Now we did, we did remove the OS chip. We got the that's ending T, right? That's what we got that one earlier. See you around, Towin. Well, hey, there we go. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, look, I'm going to start the timer on my phone. I'm going to give it 15 minutes. I'm just about done with my drink. Look, I'm going to make it, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to give you 16. We're going to go to the village and I, I, I can't, I can't even gauge like, no, 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 no. what, I can't, I can't even gauge what the pace what I can say my next out point is because I keep being surprised by just fucking weird stuff. Also, self-destruct on Earth for a nice new costume. Uh, maybe we'll do that at the end of the stream. I haven't done that. Someone was saying, someone, people were talking about self-destructing. Um, and I wasn't sure entirely what that meant. Ah. Talk. Of course. I'll help however I can. 
ask about Pascal's pacifism. Pascal, why did you choose not to fight? We have been alive for hundreds of years. We lost countless friends time and time again. But losing friends isn't what scares me. What scares me is the fact that I've grown used to seeing those I care about die all around me. That's why I decided I'd had enough. Yes, Toopy? Ask about the other machines. Pascal. Yes, Toopy? Aside from this village, are there any other machines that are cut off from the network? <laughs> but there's a network. I suppose that unpleasant songstress you so kindly defeated in the amusement park wasn't part of the network. You mean that singing thing? Oh, and of course there's the Forest Kingdom, but it... Forest Kingdom? Yes. It's a vast woodland area not far from here. There's a group of machines there attempting to build a nation of sorts. They're quite hostile to outsiders, however. We can't so much as go near the place. Where is it? Northeast of the city ruins. You should be able to reach it by passing through the ruins of the commercial facility. If you go, however, be careful. Things have been rather rough there lately. And this forest kingdom sounds like something we should check out. Yes, Wait, I didn't get to ask. I want to ask about aliens. Do you know anything about the aliens? The aliens? You mean the ones who created us? I'm sorry, there's not much I can tell you. We've been fighting for centuries without a single message from them. I guess you could say that the fact that they never gave us orders anymore is also a reason why we quit fighting. So, we... There's a lot of... There's... There are a lot of... There are a lot of... Things. So, these are... There are... That's their current destination. So, some of these are side quests. And I think some of these are access points. Possibly. There are betrayers, betrayers, betrayers. So maybe we'll go do that. We'll, we'll go find the betrayers. We'll go to the resistance camp and find the betrayers. Um, or no, we'll go right here. We'll find the betrayers and then I think we're going to come up with the night. Because I now successfully drank an entire bottle of wine and it is almost 2 a.m. And I would like to think that at some point in the day I will eat at least a little bit of meat, of protein, of which currently I have not. All right. Let's find these traitors, boys. Love it or leave it. Yorha, love it. Oh, fuck, we got a boar. Damn, boar? You can just take a laser like that? It's big. No, I, I haven't killed the robots, the, the friendly robots yet. I'll, I'll make sure to do that another time. So, uh oh, I see a body. Oh no. Do I gotta go up there? Access points are blue. All right, good call. Good looking out. Good looking out.
All right, where are you traders? God, where are you? Please be here, please exist. And don't make me have to find you. Oh, maybe down here. Oh wait, this is like where you start the city area. Oh Jesus. Well, what in the huh. rush hell? They're not here. Oh, God. Uh, oh, if they're in this building, we're going to have a, a bad time. I'm going to have words with them. I'm not going to detain them. I'm just going to kill them. And I think that's what's going to happen. If only because I can tell the future. And I already had to come down this way once. iron ore but what about over here that's not anything there's a light that is not well contained well did I get the trophy what are you doing already? no I, I haven't I don't think so I'm assuming that's just an, an idling trophy maybe you get for idling Though I also heard, well, I, I, I won't, I actually won't save, save this thing that I heard, but I also heard another thing about how many of the trophies in this game are unlocked. Yeah, 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 I'll, I'll do that, I'll do that at the end of the night. I, um, I'd like to at least make headway on this, but this seems... Yeah, this is back in this building. Back in this dumbass building. All right. Maybe you have to do it in a certain order. We'll try the other. We'll try the other. Area. I feel like I've progressed very, very far in these couple of hours. Oh, wait, there's a black dot. Oh, maybe this is the black dot. Oh, maybe they're on the Goliath. Oh, maybe... Oh. Huh. There's a red dot. Oh, 
it on the ground? Wait, did, did it just pass us by? Oh, what is that? I don't know what that means. Huh? That's unhelpful. So do I have to catch that? Is that a speed orb, basically? Are we are we playing the speed orb game near Automata? All right, then we'll then we'll fucking play. Do you want to play this game? Play this game? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. All right. One more time. I'm going the other way. Okay. It's a race, basically. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to feel about there being fucking race orbs in this game. You know, I like a, I like a good side quest, but if we're starting to Ubisoft this thing, well, I'm going to have some words. It won't be very good. Oh, and also he's at the fucking top of that highway, too. Which is a very weird position for a machine to be in. You there, ho, are you living every day on the straight and narrow? Life is a fleeting moment, we must fly straight like an arrow so we never lose our way. So let's see which of us is faster. Believe in yourself and grasp the future with both hands. Ooh yeah, you're going down. Here we go, the first speed championship. The finish line is over there. Over where? Oh, over there. I don't know what SQ is. It's you and me, friends. No host barred. Three, two, one, go. Right, so I'm gonna have to get up on this building, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna take that tree root up. That should be pretty simple. Speed or chat, speed or chat. No, 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 no. Oh, you son. Yeah. Damn, really? Bah, surely this isn't all you're capable of. Life is too short for you to spend. One more time, one more time. One. over here. See, the problem is he can cut, so I can't really, I, I can't afford to make any mistakes. See you later, Sovereign. Well, look. Are we in a safe space? We are in a safe space. 
space. Save. Please. We're gonna save. We'll do the. We'll do. We'll do. We'll do a self destruct. I, it was super close, but also that was the sort of thing where it's like my margin wasn't uh, super crazy on that last one, and I still didn't make it. Oh Jesus! That's that's. That's, ooh, that's really tough to listen to. All right, we'll do it. Fuck. Oh, Jesus. Um. Well. Um. Don't stop playing this until after ending E, or you'll miss out until next time. Uh, well, I I I figured the next the will will stream the next time. Oh, it used a recovery item on me. So. This is happening. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had heard about this and things similar to this. So, if that's what it takes to put a number on a check mark box, then. Fucking whatever. Oh, we'll do it. to get do have to just like super uh, that's cute that's a funny I yeah I also heard that there was that like Easter egg of uh, she knows when you're like upskirting In any case, while this is figuring itself out, uh, thank you guys for, for watching the stream. This is fun. I, um, I had the wild hair to do this 10 times. 10 times. Do you mean like a, 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 a get her into that idle animation 10 times or self destruct her 10 times? I need, I need a little more info on that. My dude, that's, that's, that's an undertaking. Um, Thank you guys for checking out the stream thing. Um, I just had the wild hair to play this today and um, it ended up being where I had kind of the day off and so I could stream for a little while. <laughs> it's using up my, this is using up my small recoveries also. Oh, with her, with her waving the camera away. Um, um, it's, uh, I wish I didn't explode her then. Um, it was fun. This is, um, not quite, or this, this is, the, it makes sense that this is the game that it is. It's just been so long that I had forgotten that this is the game that Nier is, that this is what a Nier game looks like. Um, and... I, I, I don't a thousand percent, I, I still don't know what's happening, right? You've got these machines that look like androids. You've got the androids that look like humans. You've got humans that are valuable to these machines that look like androids. Um, you know, humanity is, is on the brink of extinction slash is extinct um and oh, right you probably did get super close huh um uh, so 
it, there's, I'm, this is all, hold on, we'll get to flat, flat ground. This is all my jam. This is all sincerely my jam, right? Yes, people, they keep telling me about, stop, stop, stop trying to tell me about specific endings, because, like, I know that there are multiple endings, and I know that multiple playthroughs will unlock different sorts of things. Um, uh, um. But, uh, I, and I was, as I was saying earlier in the stream, like, I am really grateful that, um, the game's coverage of Nier Automata has been, v has been surprisingly strict about being spoiler free outside of the idea that there are multiple endings. Um, which again is not super crazy because the first Nier had, you know, uh, m multiple main endings. Um... And so, you know, I'm glad to see Yokotaro is doing that again. Uh, there you go. All right. There we go. Well, that's... 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 I, I we'll go to the save point and just make sure we double save. But. Um, but that's been Nier Automata for the night. Um, oh, it's level-based. All right, well, we'll just do a save point. Um... Thank you guys. Are we not close? Are we, did we get out of range? Or are we just... I can't save now. Alright. Cool. Thanks, video game. That's cool. Um, go somewhere where we can save, I guess. Very weird dictation of where I can and can't save. Like, I, you can see it on the map, right? Like, I'm within the saving zone. I am within an area where one could possibly save their video game. Yeah, that's not enough. That's not good enough, apparently. I know, but you see, I'm in the white. I'm totally in the white zone is the thing. And that's what's frustrating. That's a frustrating thing. Alright, guys. Um, we'll call it here. Thank you so much for checking out the stream. Um, if you don't already, hit the follow. I don't know. Um, I don't know. The next time we'll do this, I know the next thing that is on the schedule is Saturday. We're going to do a Night Attack Rewind. We'll go back and watch old NSW shows and maybe be a live show or two, whatever. Um, that'll be sometime Saturday evening. Check out the Discord, nightattack.tv slash Discord. Uh, check out the Twitter, at nightattackshow, nightattack.tv for the podcast. Really, really lots of good stuff there. And um, until the meantime, uh, uh, thank you guys. It's a lot of fun. And we'll see you for night two eventually. Bye.